Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show 555. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, broadcasting live from the Mayhem Bunker, Mayhem Studios in, in Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, ready to talk some professional wrestling with you guys. We got some crew. We got a special guest. First of all, joining us from all the way in Johnstown, PA, Floodtown, USA, it is Bobby FJ Town. Hi, everyone. Hey. I saw a T Rex fight this weekend. I see, I see you. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. I'm glad you straightened up for us this week. <laughs> what do you way. mean? I don't know. It looks pretty rough back there. Oh, it's it's a disaster. <laughs> it's just... The nerd museum's in, in, a, in a complete disarray. I need to, well, thank you for dressing need up to, the set for the show. I need to get my shit together. <laughs> <laughs> also with us from the other side of Pittsburgh in the Monroeville, PA, he is the Riz. That's the first time I've ever disclosed like where you live, you I did. think. That's the first time. Is that weird? I got weird. Now everybody knows where I live, Sorg. Everybody knows where you live now. They're Great right, job. Right next to my other mean, client. I mean, now now I'm going to get followed by weird people. It's That's okay. I, I You already have me uh, letting you know when I'm nearby, when I'm Ubering over in that direction. That is, so, that is correct. Yeah. I, I get like, I get notifications. I get, I get map, que- like map sign-ins from you. From uh, Google Hangouts, so it it, it it gets weird, Sorg, when you're just like, I'm right here, I'm right here. <laughs> yes, exactly. One night, you were, one night you checked into jail. <laughs> that was fun. That was, that was the that night was Joey weird. Porter went in. I took a reporter over there. That was interesting. <laughs> that was good. Uh, also with us in studio, right here in Mayhem Studio, he is the photographer <laughs> of the International Wrestling Cartel. I've had him on the Indie Mayhem Show and on here in the past. Now, wrestler. <laughs> Dan Hooven? No, I no. Mm-mm. No, no. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about it. you've had a pretty interesting weekend. Yeah, plumber owes me like three grand for my camera. Yes. I don't know. I saw the somebody on, on the internet said it was like fifteen thousand dollars. No, no, I wish. Uh, yeah, it was yeah, about no. three thousand dollars, so yeah, yeah. Well we'll get to that in a moment. We'll get to that in just a moment. But in the meantime, like I said, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check us out at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. You can subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and video versions on the YouTube and I almost said the Instagram, the Facebook, the Facebook Live, <laughs> which is also you can uh, Very get, short show. You can get Yes, exactly. It's only about a 60 <laughs> second show and goodbye. Mayhem out. Uh, but anyways, no, uh, you can go there and we're live usually Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern time. You can get there no matter what technology we use at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com or you can uh, drop in. Make sure you like and follow the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page because we are using Facebook Live. We got a crazy cr- crew out there right now. Uh, geez, Kevin, Billy Johnson, uh, Steve, Wheels is out there, Mad Mike is hanging out matt carlins is going to join us here in the studio as well and so many more watching this show live uh to see what uh happens when we give dan hooven a live mic because we had so many comments from last time he was on so uh we have 70 comments we, right now yeah so we got a lot going on in there right now including eggplants uh but anyways uh you can uh, go check that follow the show at mayhem show on twitter and uh <coughs> why does google i'm deleting google plus from this document because nobody oh. does that anymore i'm goodbye google plus i'm killing it here on the mayhem show also uh you can drop us a line on somebody's uh, producer missy is crying i <laughs> said the death of, of google plus but anyways you can email us at that email address good times, good times at wrestling mayhem show.com or the uh phone number 412-206 wms0 and uh, drop us a line. Let us know your thoughts. And somebody did. Somebody responded to the big question last week. I think we'll get to that in the second half. So many sad faces on the, going across our stream right now, by the way. Um, but anyways, uh, you can also support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Uh, good friends, longtime supporters, uh, such as Bo Diggity. 
Woo! I'm waiting for you guys. I'm waiting for the delay. Waiting for the delay. Waiting for the delay. What's happening? Ed Burke. Um, <laughs> Ed Burke, the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. Uh, the Alex Cars, Bobby F. J. Town, and New Pledge. Arturo Garcia joins us, and also Christopher Bishop, who's not on the list for some reason. Uh, so thank you so much, everybody supporting the show there at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. If you join the pocket club at five dollars a month, you get mayhem show gold, which is this week gonna include special stories. Um, some out of um 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 uh, what do you call that when you can't be arrested for something anymore? Um out of uh come on, law person. Statute of limitations. Statute of limitations. Uh, from Dan Hooven and Ring of Honor signee Shane Taylor, who joined us this past weekend recording an interview. So please go uh, check that out. So uh, let's get into talking some wrestling. First of all, Dan Hooven, <coughs> you had some, you had an interesting weekend. Um, and people are already calling you Rookie of the Year, although I think you have stiff competition with the T Rex that we saw in IWC this past weekend. I know we don't oh. usually talk indie uh, wrestling um, on this show, but you know, like I said, you're getting you're getting you're getting a little bit of attraction out there um, from from what happened this weekend um, at IWC's Reloaded. What 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 went down? Um, I I don't know. I, at first, I thought it was a joke, uh, a rib, as the, as the wrestlers would say. But uh, next thing I know, I was getting beat up, and uh, my camera got broke. My glasses got smashed. Luckily, I have uh, backup glasses, but I think because everybody does, because they're two for a hundred bucks at America's Best Vision. That's right. A uh, ball on a That's budget. Correct. Please That's correct. Please sponsor us. Actually, actually please are, sponsor us. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So you know, things got a little bit out of hand. I got beat up a little bit. Uh. You know, and uh, now I'm kind of just. Uh, I don't have a camera anymore, so I don't know what to do. Well, apparently, um, it's going to be wrestling because you did get booked in the match. But uh, no, there was a reset button. For those who don't know, IWC does a reloaded show at the beginning of the year, typically, when the weather works out. Um, and this is the third one they've done. And, and they say anyone can pop up. The, the first one they did, it was it was Virgil came in, right? And uh, in this case, and even um, I was, so I was working on the video and I noticed I was in there. In the, yeah, you were in the mix as well. Know. Anybody can anybody can apparently get selected by the reset. It's actually Donald Trump, our uh, our our fearless leader and master of the free world, was on there last year. Oh, no, probably. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, but yeah, there's Dan Hooven uh, sure? being selected by the uh, mysterious reset button at IWC, and uh, and so that meant you were to take on the tag team champion. Yeah, the fraternity. The fraternity. I I you can see it there. I. I go there to take pictures, talk to the investors, and talk to diamonds. And uh, you know, next thing I know, I'm in the ring getting beat down by two two guys that are in a fraternity. Apparently, oh, yeah, they 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 feel like they've been in a fraternity for a long time at this point. So uh, yeah, they, like- they they took some liberties on me. I wasn't happy about it. And, and you know, a lot of my fraternity brothers were in town to see Shane Taylor um, for the show, and and they they were lucky that the real fraternity didn't jump them because there were a lot of upset people. You know, mm-hmm. I wanted to go out with them afterwards, and I had to go home. It was it was a rough ride. Uh, you know, it was just a rough ride. So, um, so after all that, I mean, you you're somebody that uh, you know we've talked about with ECW. Mm-hmm. You know, you kind of you know grew up in the shadow of that. I did, the, right? yeah, so, yeah. So to be like uh, technically kind of unknowingly debuting here on a show with Shane Douglas was another mystery opponent. That popped that, up up there too. That was cool. You know, I grew up outside of Philadelphia, so WGTW forty eight. Everybody watched ECW back mm-hmm. tape trading days, and uh, it was fun. And it was kind of cool because Shane Douglas was also the surprise opponent for uh, the uh, Chris Larusso in the Super Indie Title match. Mm-hmm. And uh, even though him and Botch Nasty tried to, uh, ch- you know, cheat, Shane Douglas almost won, but obviously he unfortunately lost to Larusso, who's a phenomenal athlete. But uh, so it was cool. It was definitely a memorable night to have the fraternity brothers there. I think more importantly, Shane Taylor was there, um, who I've known since, you know, way back in the college days. Mm. And uh, a T-Rex was there as well. So overall, I mean, it was. So uh, it was a good college time, right? Yeah, it, yeah, it yeah, was basically. actually like it was like, yeah, it was like if uh, Adam Adam Rose and the Rosebuds got a bunch of HGH and Coke and went on a binge, <laughs> it was a pretty crazy <laughs> night. That was great. So, yeah. so, and actually, I got queued up here, and Matt Carnes is in the chat asking, like, what is with wrestlers destroying expensive equipment? And there, there you go. Well, I think that that they do it because they think that nobody's going to fight back. And I know that you had a camera that was destroyed, and that cameraman was too 
too little of a man to fight back or show up to IWC shows. Mm -hmm. So I, I wasn't going to take it. I mean, what am I going to do? I, I have to do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I might be older and not as, you know, in good shape as these guys, but I'm not going to let that happen. That's right. You're, you're definitely past the fraternity uh, uh, prime a bit uh, in comparison, right? So, but, uh, so, but it, so I, I got a question for you. Yeah. Is there a GoFundMe page out now for you um, to get a new camera? camera? No, you see, I believe in working for things instead of doing GoFundMe pages. Um, and and uh, so, no, there's no GoFundMe page. I might record a video later this week and say that I need help funding a hobby and then ask everybody to, uh, you know, pay for things. But that's not my style. I'm just going to go back to work and put in some extra hours. And, uh, you know, I am talking to I am talking to Justin Plummer about replacing that i mean a lot of people don't know this but he actually went to college with myself and shane and he felt horrible about what happened so we're mm -hmm. we're talking about you know i think i think his kids uh college fund might be short about three thousand dollars because i need a yeah. new camera <laughs> yeah he's got some time to make that up but in, in the end you uh for a moment at least seem to win the the iwc tag team champions championships uh but unfortunately due to the technicality of uh john mcchesney you know, be, not being selected by the reset button uh that went back to the fraternity I but Ahead, I Bonnie. feel like I helped in some way. <laughs> what? What? How do you mean? I got yelled at for Mr. Hooven. <laughs> what happened? Because I, I yelled, do it for Ryback. And one of the fraternity members told me to shut up. <laughs> well, that's not nice, Bobby. <laughs> well, nice. I appreciate you yeah. saying that. Really, I'm, not, no I'm noticing this private linked video has been viewed like like 28 times. How long? How many times have you relived this experience? I've sent <laughs> I've sent it to a few friends. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, okay, I see, I see. I'm probably gonna put it on uh, on a torrent too, just to take money oh, out of your good. pocket. Oh, good. There you go. <laughs> it's not gonna help get you your camera paid for, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> But anyways, uh, so now uh, Pro Wrestler is going to be part of, of course, the Proving Grounds, or as we're saying, Hooven Grounds. And I know somebody it just it just flew by, uh, um, said that that uh, it, since we're both victims of uh, uh, equipment smashing in in wrestling, um, that uh, somebody wants to tag uh, you and me up in there. But we should uh, do it. I don't know about that. I'm not even close to trained over there. To clarify it, that comment was uh, Billy Johnson, Hooven and Sword, the new IWC Tag Champs, book it. <laughs> and Matt Collins followed up. He has the uh, perfect Revenge of the AV crew. Oh, that's good. That's oh, good. There we go. Nice. So you, you guys are already, you're, you're booking it. Wow. Um, <laughs> and yes, he did just call him Botch Nasty. I don't know the uh, behind that. Have you seen him work? Uh, okay. That's no, right. no, no. Speaks no. for itself. Okay. No, some fans, some, some really, some... Bulk Bulk is a he, he's a dickhead. He's he's you know you think he's mean in front of the crowd. What do you see him backstage? He's not that that's that's his lifestyle. Hey, have you seen his tweets? But um, somebody called him botch nasty. It kind of stuck. Yes, exactly. Uh, well, it looks like our mayhem mania is coming up, but that's for the second half. Uh, in, in the meantime, uh, a lot of stuff company in wrestling uh, around. Of course, it's Royal Rumble weekend. I want to kind of touch base on that and everything going on. Um, hey, we saved some pizza for you, Carlins. So about time. I was distracted on this entire time while uh, while uh, we, we well you were on your way. Sorry. The dog ate your pizza. The dog, yeah, the dog ate the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so the Royal Rumbles this this weekend. Um, thankfully, not this crazy traditional or crazy uh, forty man thing like we tried several years ago. Um, but pretty big deal. This, is this the thirtieth or is it just the anniversary of the San Antonio? Well, I think it's the thirtieth. Is it? Is it the thirtieth? So, I think so. It blows my mind that we're we're going to have the Royal Rumble in a forty thousand seat arena in the mm -hmm. in the Alamo Dome, right? I mean, that's that's it's it's pretty pretty nuts. Um, but uh, in general, how are you guys feeling going into the Royal Rumble? Are we are we like our usual gearing up Royal Rumble excitement? When is it? This weekend? <laughs> oh, seriously? <laughs> Did you yeah. say what is it? Wow! No, when is it? What is it? Sunday. Sunday. Um, and of course, uh, you know, between the rumble, between everything going on, between um, we have Undertaker, Goldberg, and Brock Lesnar as part of this thing. Um, you know, because we don't, you know, have too many spots between two rosters that are basically going to be part of this thing. Um, plus, I don't know. Do we even do surprises this year, considering the people that we have yeah, a part I of this? So. Yeah, I think so. To. There yeah, have to at least so. be one, like you know. The bushwhacker that can move will come in or something uh, like that, right? No, I hope not. I mean, something. Drew Carrigan, maybe? No. No? Maybe Shaq. the camera guy. 
Maybe maybe their camera guy the apparently Hooven's gonna do a run in. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know how <laughs> I mean Seth Rollins isn't gonna be in it. He, Probably I'm guessing some NXT not, Who's who's the now. favorite to win? I've actually been like I need to follow I better. Think, I, I don't there think is there is a, a favorite. favorite. Like there's no, I I don't feel like there's an like I keep seeing I've been avoiding the articles like 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 guys like oh, Labar have been doing that like are the plague that are like um yeah they're like oh the plans for Rumble are gonna be mm-hmm. this now or uh, Mania are gonna be this now right and, oh, and like I, the last I don't oh, I don't think I see like there's no clear path of yeah obviously mm-hmm. these guys are gonna be this belt this guys are gonna be this belt you know I I, I don't know if it's because of the the, the draft split or or what right. But um, in, the last, in the last three years, we've had like a clear like this guy's going to win the rumble, you know, mm-hmm. and like this is the first time in a long time where it's been like anybody can win the rumble. Probably since 2011, maybe. You know, it's a shame that you know who if if IWC had a, a Royal Rumble, who would you think would win? Sword. Hooven. No, seriously, somebody on the Raw. So I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> T-Rex. I'm not. I'm not who who would everybody pick? I'm just curious at the current well, IWC yeah, the current roster. Yes. Well, we just had a battle royal last month, so does that count? Yes. So I mean, I think your your golden boy is going to be in Andrew Palace. Okay. Like first off, like is is my thought. Okay. What about, what about you guys? Mm. Hmm? This is like a mini big question. This is this is a really big. This is like this is like an indie level question. Indie big question. Current champions involved. Everybody, sure. everybody, sure. men, sure. women. I'd, I'd Whatever people want to identify yeah. as today, Billy John. Billy Johnson's going McChesney. Okay, I like that I'd, pick. I'd, yeah, I'm going with Bobby here. Wardlow's. Yeah, I can't like I'm trying to think of somebody top that can take him out. Listen, I got spoiler alerts. The, these are all good answers, but the real answer, the Kingpin Brian McDowell. The Kingpin. Yeah, uh, mm. Kingpin. The Kingpin. Course, yeah. I don't know about you guys. I, he would. He um, would. He unless would, we count T Rex in there. He is a very underrated wrestler. In fact, you know, I told him the other day. You see, the thing with McDowell is he's so talented, and and actually he is being scouted for some bigger promotions, but he doesn't he doesn't get online enough. I said he needed to get a prowrestlingtees dot com account. Mm-hmm. And get a shirt that said mm-hmm. "Line him up, strike him down, Kingpin," and we can make some money. You see the guy in Ring of Honor stealing his gimmick. Yeah, what the and, hell? And that's not cool. Hashtag not my king. Not my Kingpin. So I mean, I'm just putting it out there. I think Brian McDowell would win an IWC Battle Royal. Somebody's calling out for Shane in your face. And there's also and a DJ Z for a Rumble. Okay. DJ Z, of course. I there can you see go. Larusa thinking him win out too. And I, I do have to. I do have to point out here that the chat is also commenting on. Hooven's six ninety nine contribution every time he mentions pro wrestling com. I'm just promoting a good company. <laughs> Snapback, you can get there you that. Go, Snapback, Britsburg, right there. Social media. You know, you know we're on pro com. <laughs> yeah, it's also us. There's uh, pro wrestling com slash wms while you're there, right? So, or, or is it only when Hooven says it? I don't know. <laughs> what are these rules? Yeah, what are the rules of this? These these things. I was just curious. I just I just really what want to take a moment. Rules? Put over Brian McDowell because he's the, after everything happened, he's one of the first people I wanted to talk to. And because I mean, truth mm-hmm. be told, I needed to get some training. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think uh, McChesney's going to help me out a great deal because he came to help me. But I'm also, you know, I asked Britt Baker for some advice because she was in the same situation, kind of baptism by fire. Mm-hmm. And I asked King. That's right. She was an announcer. Yeah. He was like an interviewer before getting into exactly. it a bit, right? And, every, and everything happened with that. And she's mm-hmm. had great success. Mm-hmm. Well deserved. And, and just, you know, I asked her and then. Uh, Kingpin. I asked him that I'm going to go hang out with him Sunday, and we're going to go over some uh, some. We're going to watch some tape. Watch some tape. Yes. Is it still tape? Is it still on tape? Yes. Okay. We're talking about like like old school like Bruno San Martino shit. Nice, nice. All right, back to the rumble. Um, I don't know. Do you? I guess we should do like kind of mini picks here. Um, of sorts. Of course, we'll do. Are we going to do the mayhem? I, I forget who. I think like AJ organizes our mayhem poll, right? Uh, like, like, like that thing. So we're. I, the, I, I'll, I'll do that again, sir. You'll, you'll do. You're, did you do that last year? Yeah. Okay. I did that last year. So I was wondering what I was going to. Okay, but most of us will be in the same place, I think. Uh, so um, we'll, yeah. we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work that out. But in general, other than that, and, and, the, and by the, we're talking about like this thing where we kind of pick numbers, and your your winner is like whoever is at an entrant. Uh, it, at that you know number entrance, and and we kind of go from there. But who's your kind of favorite? Who would you like to see win the Rumble this year? Out of everybody that we are aware of that is involved, and yes, of course, there's a lot of wild cards in there. I have to look up to see who's actually involved. 
you can probably say just about anybody you think is in WWE at this point. So, uh, Scott Steiner? No, no. <laughs> he could be a surprise sort. He could be a surprise. Yeah, yeah and then but... he would have a thirty-three point three four percent chance. <laughs> Buff Bagwell, Buff you know, Bag. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but what do you guys think? I I want to say Sami Zayn. Damn it. Really? Like, I, 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 I feel, with it. everything I feel... going on, you think Sami Zayn would get the Mania run? run? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, too. Because uh, Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn at... WrestleMania. For the yeah, title, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Fight forever. Hashtag Vince fight forever. Uh, Wheels Wheels is hoping for a glorious winner in Bobby Roode. Uh, I can see that. He you know, if he doesn't I win, uh, win, I guess that. Nakamura. Yeah. Uh, Mike Mad Mike's favorite is Taker. Preference is Jericho. Makes sense. Andrew's in there saying Taker. Uh, <laughs> Steve says New Jack. <laughs> Somebody Andrew <laughs> says Nails. Oh, wait, guys, we're going in a different. That's the gimmick battle royal. This is different. Move around. <laughs> um, Let's just go the Iron Sheik. Let's end it right there. Brandon since Riz, since Riz took Sammy, I'm going to go out in left field and say you can Miz. Take Sammy, I don't care. But, yeah, I know. Um, since, well, for discussion purposes, for discussion I, purposes, for discussion purposes, I'll go with Miz. Hmm. Okay. All right. I think Miz deserves I like it. That. I like that. What's what, what's going on over there? Uh, I'm, I'm seeing Tina Keys actually just wait in. Finn would be great. Wishful thinking. Mm-hmm. And Steve Masterani, Ron Simmons. Ron Simmons. Damn. 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 <laughs> Big Cass already won the Rumble that matters, the Riz Rumble. There you go. James Thank you, Trey. Uh, Thank you, Trey. Ms. Goldberg. You're the one person that watched that. Kevin's going Goldberg to one person. I watched like 10 minutes of it. Um, James, but, hey, James Ellsworth got a new shirt on SmackDown. Maybe he has a shot. <laughs> no. Is he even in it? I think he's, I, he's I don't preoccupied. Know. He's, he's got to be in. He's got to be in it. He has to be in. It. I hope uh, not. Uh, Matt, Matt, you're a little off. <laughs> we, we we got you a little off off mic. You're off camera. I, I'm gonna... sorry. You start talking about all these scintillating topics, and I just can't keep I, my mouth shut over here. I'm sorry. I know. I tried using the pizza to to keep myself from talking, but it did, could only work for so long. So who do you think? You Bobby talking? stole my dark horse answer. I really think the Miz would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Pun yeah. intended. <laughs> Seriously, he's like scorching hot right now. Oh yeah. So yes. see have him just have like an insane run that kind of makes up for the weird main event that he had, you know, yeah, all those years ago at what twenty seven. AJ Kurt Angle surprise entrance. <gasps> which is interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Kurt Angle said the not gonna happen line, which they is exactly say the not exactly what John's... playing that Jericho card on everyone. He's like, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm in, I'm oh, in Fiji. Cena. I'm, I'm in Fiji that day. I won't be around. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, they just pulled him out of his. Uh, Things in Scotland. What? This weekend. He was pulled out of his events in Scotland. <laughs> no, Hooven. No. Right back? <laughs> no, 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 no. Something else. Something else. Chris Benoit. Nope. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. It's never too soon. No, no, no. He'll come back as the greater power. Oh. Matt, yeah. Matt Mike did, did qualify. Um, anyone who thinks Kurt is wrestling clearly didn't watch him in TNA. Aww. Aww. I thought he did like a ma- like the problem was he was too ridiculous in TNA. And I I don't know. I, maybe I haven't seen uh, towards the ends, but all you have to do in the Royal Rumble is, you know, sprint to the ring, do the angle slam for 30 seconds, put the ankle lock on someone and then just like hang in the corner Get with somebody you. for the rest of yeah, the time. Yeah, that's true. And if then you're just going, throw somebody you're, out. You're good. If you're going to do cool. it anywhere. edge. If you're somebody yeah. who can take a, and, and there's some people that probably shouldn't be in there that have they've gone over that top rope and get dumped out. I, I like, I'm sorry, Tina Keys is commenting, Nia Jax is the surprise women's entrant. We've had Beth Phoenix before. We have, We've and had that's, that's why I'm saying it could that's totally happen. And there's no it. women's <laughs> been one under a mask. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. No! Bad chat room! Bad chat room! Oh. I'm, putting, I'm putting the chat room in the corner for no, a No, bit. no, no, don't. Just part of it. Put, put them on blast, or what they say. Blast. Hey, hey, let them have their alternative facts. They I got like some. They got some. They got some in there. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um. Anyways, uh, I don't know, Hoover. Do you, you have any facts that are alive? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Seth Rollins or Roman Reigns in it? I technically, well, Seth just Seth, got I don't booted think so. out. Just got booted out on Monday, and then I I don't know if Reigns would be because he's in a title match. He could be. He could lose the title match and be in the Rumble. Uh, yeah, I'll that's go another with, one. Uh, 
I'll go with Finn Balor. Okay. Somebody else in the chat room pulled that up too. I think that'd be a good one. Mm-hmm. Uh, McChesney's in the chat room. Says, "Get off the radio." One you called this radio, <laughs> uh, and and get in the ring right now if you want to take the IWC Tag Team Championships. I love how he's yelling at you and plugging no, he, a show in the same. He's thing. right. He's right. He yeah. actually we had a long talk about my diet, my exercise. Like he has to whip my ass back in shape. You need to uh, you need to cut down those burritos, right? Ooh. All right. <laughs> Kenny so Omega. Nice. That, that's another surprise. Kenny Omega. Kenny I, I, I is not don't bad. think he's gonna come in. Who's that? I don't, I don't think Did you see did you see speaking of pro wrestling tees, did you see what they did? No, they do. Um they said oh, they are a sneaky bitch. They are sneaky, very sneaky. They said um if that at this time last year AJ Styles debuted in the, the Royal Rumble, but wouldn't you think that Kenny Omega's shirts might start uh, disappearing? You better get them while they last. <laughs> <laughs> oh, way to way to way to social engineer people there. Pro yeah, wrestling tees. Yeah. Pro wrestling tees are are. I don't want to call them. The, they're not what? No, no. You say jerks? <laughs> no, what? No, I was gonna say I didn't want to call them assholes sometimes, but there... like sometimes they are. But but like in the fun way, right? Yeah. In yeah. the like like the way that sells t-shirts way, um, which and is, hats, would and hats, Britsburg like, snapback available on prowrestlingtees.com. Yep. <laughs> we are racking it up for you. <laughs> we gotta get these deals for the mayhem show. Uh, but anyways, uh, oh, there was a good one. Um, um, Samoa Joe versus KO at Mania gonna happen, says Billy out, out there. He's, he, I think he said this a couple times in here. It could. He's I, dead. He, hurt, dead set it. on this. Also, one, two, three, kid. I'm down with two from David. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> the, the, the entire, the entire degeneration X apparently. Isn't he a one, two, know. three, kid man or one, two, three, man now? I don't. Uh, he came back as the one, two, three kid in Chikara a couple years ago. So mm-hmm. um, the one, two, three adult. One, two, the one, two, three responsible adult. <laughs> one, two, three adulting. Yes. Yeah. Is that yeah? One, that, one, is that what you've been that, waving? That is exactly okay. what I was gonna say. Uh, but anyways, uh, there are matches happening as as well. Um, who did you give? All on the pre-show. What? <laughs> yeah, on the pre-show, the Rumble will it's be like the entire four-hour show. Pre-show. Six-hour pre-show. So wait, how many? How many matches are on the pre-show? Hold on. So two far, they announced four, two three of them? good ones, and we have like like a it's technically a two-hour pre-show, which that seems in yeah. line with when we've had these bigger shows. I don't know. I can't get to all the lineup because there's something called NXT Takeover in the way. Um, the tag team championship is on the pre-show. It, the raw the, tag. Yeah, but also we're in that point where we have two tag team championships and somebody's going to get stiffed on this thing. The problem is, or the yeah. great thing is, that everybody's so talented, the pre-show matches may be sometimes better than the official show matches at this point. Like, you can... Well, you could have... Just make it a six-hour pay-per-view. They kind of <laughs> did, didn't they? Really? Much. In the long run, didn't they? they? But they're just squeezing more stuff in. So, yeah, so Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson uh, against... Uh, Sheamus and Cesaro. It doesn't matter as long as you're watching the network or whatever the hell they're streaming through for the pre-show. And even the pre-show, don't they do like the first hour, which has basically like nothing, is going to be on YouTube, and then the rest is on the network, anyways. Yeah. So, which means even if you bought the pay-per-view, you're not getting it unless you have the network. Pretty diabolical. Um, we have the ladies, the the SmackDown ladies are going to go at it in a six woman. That's very pre-showy. Um, Becky, you, you know we're probably gonna get one of the the like a, a second tier, uh, two hundred five live cruiserweight match on the pre show somewhere. On the pre show, Dar and Alicia Fall. No, you don't think so. This cruiserweight championship isn't happening on the pre show, is it? No, 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 no. no. The, the cruiserweight championships having happening on the show. All right, but they always have some sort of weird tag match with like. Everybody else who's not on the card. That's remember, crazy. remember the time before two hundred five live when it was just all six man tags with the cruiserweights. That's <laughs> yeah, all exactly. we get exactly. every week. And that's what we got on the pay per view. It was like, oh, we're going to do a six man tag. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just wanted to dispute the the, the two hundred five live theory because the, the only other person on two hundred five live worth putting. In a match, Jack, Jack Callagher, he's going to be a surprise entrant in the Rumble. That's going to happen. Obviously, <sighs> obviously, yeah, that's that's obviously, going to happen. obviously. Um, let's see. So we have that. Uh, we have uh, Charlotte and Bailey for the Raw Women's Championship. It's <coughs> going to be good. Um, AJ and John Cena, which has been uh, the, the, you see the promo on SmackDown tonight. 
Yeah. Cena's a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big freaking jerk. Oh, Old man, Cena's been great. He forgot how to. It's John, hey, hey, he it's forgot John how, Cena versus the, that he guy forgot from how to Atlanta. work. He's on the Today Show. They're talking about his match. He won't even drop AJ Styles' name once. Calls him the like guy, from, guy Atlanta. from Atlanta. He's, which I mean, they ended up spinning it pretty well. But come on, Cena. Wow. Wow. You're not a morning show host. You're still a wrestler. <laughs> he's pulling, he's right, pulling, buddy. I don't know. He's been getting a lot of practice at it that, that is lately. So. Hey, uh, he's pulling you in, Matt. I, I, I said that in my tweet. He's, I always he's point this out. you in. I know I'm being worked, but John Cena infuriates me sometimes. So mm-hmm. that's, that's good. Like, like AJ, AJ fucking needs to win that match now, though, because he, he's been so kind of um, um, deflated, I guess. And, and, you know. I, I mean, Cena's acting like he doesn't really matter, right? I like that they listen to the internet and work the uh, pay-per-view poster into the match. <laughs> yes. <or> into the- <laughs> yes, but sad that the all Braun Strowman version of the Royal Rumble uh, uh, poster didn't make it in. <laughs> as creepy <sighs> as it freaking is. <laughs> so, um, but no, I think we got we got a lot of fun stuff there. Big Show's a part of it. Uh, just just came back this week, of course. A svelte, <laughs> svelte, thin. Best shape I think he's ever been in. Big Show, cosplaying as the done American Ninja Warrior set. Little bit, <laughs> little bit. <laughs> Next thing you know, Zach Allen's gonna be climbing on him. I don't know. We can only hope. <laughs> can only hope. I'd pay to see that. Um, oh. New to the WWE Network. Uh, my God, you have all Beat that. that wall. Beat, Beat that, that wall. wall. <laughs> Beat that wall. <laughs> Amazing, uh, amazing, it. and of course, Hammer, Valentine oh. defends his belt against the Junkyard Dog here in Boston. You know, I really don't have to defend it against junkyard, junkyard Dog. I'm just giving him one more chance, one more measly chance because he had solid me in Madison Square Garden and WrestleMania. He had solid me by slapping my rock and roll man, my manager Jimmy Hart. I don't take that lightly. You understand, Junkyard Dog. You embarrassed me for the last time. WrestleMania is over. I survived it. Survived Tito Santana and yourselves. Little scheme to set me up in a garden, and it didn't work. And now Boston Garden here Best it is. Promo this ever. is debate. As far as I'm concerned, it's debate, dog, to get you, you nasty individual, nasty black person. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. What I started, you understand? The what 80s, that? ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. Is that Orndorff? Is that Orndorff? You don't know who I am yet. The master of the figure four leg lock, and you're gonna find out. It's Hammer, right? You're gonna find out yeah. real soon. Oh, Hammer. I'm okay. Taste it. You understand? You understand? I'm gonna slap yeah. you around, boy. The Eighties were a weird I'm time. I'm gonna slap you down, silly. Eighties were a hell of a time. I'm gonna slap you down. So you go <laughs> it's, back it keeps to going. Or you go back to shine and shoes. Or you go back to sweep oh, the my. Oh my! You kind of understand why he didn't really cut a lot of promos. Whenever, like, I don't remember <laughs> the Hammer ever cutting a promo. Like, no, no, ever. no, no, absolutely I not. Get it now, yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, speaking of throwbacks, we have a star- shark cage involved, <laughs> which it's weird they call it a shark cage. Like it was the. Then they call it like the crash cage and like, like toys. Right, like like when, when well, the, Rumble, uh, <laughs> like when um when um uh, <laughs> caller, please turn down your radio. Um, when uh yeah, because they had they had that cage with uh the the big the big uh uh, uh, uh you know structure at nxt and it's basically the same cage but we're actually gonna like like i imagine actually suspend it from the place maybe they just use the same thing um but going to texas doesn't that really fit because isn't that where they used to do the cornet in the cage and everything in the south i don't know I, people are losing it are they still talking about benoit in there is that what's happening yeah, yeah. No. Well, he, he made one comment and the, the chat room completely picked up on it the nasty black person and Mad Mike comments, nasty black person is Wheels' new shirt on ProWrestlingTees.com. <laughs> <laughs> but all I'm thinking of is how we've turned that into, like, the nasty woman with the Trump responses. Oh, right no. Now. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's... Hey, Alex, if you're listening, don't make that don't shirt. Don't make that shirt. No, no, please don't. Please don't. What is? Oh, music? I remember this one. What is one. the music going on there? That was one of the best promos ever. Who was that one? The Lust in Your Eyes promo by Macho Man and, and oh, Hulk Hogan. Oh, there you go. There you go. 
Um, uh, but uh, still, Owens, Reigns, we're, we're really, really pulling for Owens on this one, right? <laughs> Sorry, Roman. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. The big dog's got to eat. The big dog's got to eat. Um, do, you, do you, general question, do you guys at this point really want to see Jericho and Owens fight? Or do you want them to yes. see them stay best friends forever and fight against a greater, I wish larger they would, enemy? I wish they would I stay together and have friends. a nice breakup, like the greatest tag team of all time, right, Baxel, and they just amicably mm-hmm. go their way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, of course. Jericho. In, in a few months, they they have a backstage segment, and Jericho goes up to Owens and just says, "Fozzie's going on tour. I gotta go." And he's like, "All right." <laughs> and and Jericho's like, "Here's something to remember me by." And he gives Owens his scarf, and they hug and they go they part. That'd be great. Right. And I would tear up. And, and like, and and like uh, he goes on his tour bus, rolls down, like, and you can actually see his face staring at him as he drives off. Yeah, there's like the camera shot from behind Jericho's head as he looks out the window, and Owens is like standing. It's like the end. Of, you ever see the last episode of Mash, the finale yeah. of Mash, where he flies off and it just says, you know, and he puts goodbye in the rock. He's gonna spell goodbyes and, yeah. and scarves. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a a a, a, a royalty free uh, knockoff version of uh, leaving on a jet plane plays in the background. You know, did they just sign a contract though? A new one? What with Jericho? Yeah, I think Amazing. so. Uh, what do you guys think? I, I brought this up to Mike last night on Raw, and I th- uh, there was an interview, or, or maybe it was this podcast or something I was reading on um, on uh, Chris Jericho talking about how when he when he first came back, he was wearing the scarves and everybody and trying to get fruity booties over. That he was sort of doing it on purpose to set up the heel turn. Um, and the conversation was like, "No, that's what you say when the thing didn't work." This has to be a record for the number of comments on an episode. We're, we're almost oh, at three hundred. About that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe yeah, that this, might be this, close. This is this? Is this? Is this we have seventeen uh, uh, viewers consecutively now. That's one of our top ones for sure. Um, but anyways, but uh, but uh, but no, but like, what do you what do you think about? It? Like, do you think it was like the plan the whole time for him to come around to 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 this character, or was it really like he was really trying to get fruity booties over? I, I think he played the system. You think he played the system? You think he's, like he he's worked it out, played the that. fans? He's, I, I yeah. think he's smart enough to do that. I think... Sorry. No, that's, that's me. That's I, me. I think Jericho has returned enough times that there's a pattern. He returns. He does something. Something it's weird. It's not really working. Everyone kind of <laughs> suspects. I wonder if Jericho has lost it. He doesn't quite look like he has it in the ring. And then, like, six months go by, and, like, suddenly he just is completely reinvented again and becomes an, a new amazing version of Jericho. So I think maybe he just comes in and just starts throwing stuff at the wall, knowing that it's all going to bomb and, and just waits for that one little thing to work until he hits with the list or whatever. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then he's off and then he just, it all goes from there. Yeah. I, I think, I think that what it is, is, you know, we have a split personality for Jericho. So we have the in ring wrestling Jericho who just does whatever crazy stuff and then we have it in promotion, like when he gets back on his meds. That's when he tours with Fozzie. Uh, from the chat room, uh, first of all, alternative, alternative facts around the whole Jericho situation. And also, I've been <laughs> yelled at to let Hooven speak his mind. Well, we're talk- what are we talking about? <laughs> well, there you talking go. Talking about practice, right? right? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no, I, I, I think I love Jericho. I love Jericho. Um, I'm, I'm honestly behind on the current wrestling product. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. With the network, I like to relive the glory days of Chris Benoit and the big title run. Because you can. That's the commercial he, they don't run. Yeah. Um, well, the Hard Knocks one where he goes like this. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I watch a lot of Chris Benoit. I have Benoit that DVD. Uh, people, they can't erase him from history. No. Um, I also watch a lot of uh, Ric Flair, actually. So do you know who Jeff is? The jeweler Jeff downtown? All right. Well, he hangs out with Santana Diamonds down on Grand and Fifth. That makes sense now. And uh, we'll ask him about that when he's on in a couple he's, weeks. He's got some heat with Ric Flair. He actually made a pass at Rick. Sa- F- Wait, Santana or the jeweler? No, 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 no. The jeweler, okay. Jeff the jeweler. He made a pass at Ric Flair's wife at an autograph signing right in front of the Nature Boy. Mm, and he mm. said, Space Mountain is looking a little bit rickety. And there was some heat. We had to leave. That was a uh, Build Town Championship Wrestling, uh, Diamonds Are Forever by Diamond Joe Rogers. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> It was a great show. It was a great show. It really was. It was down yeah, in a, yeah. a, a, a bill town in USA Williamsport. Mm-hmm. But uh, Jeff had to be pretty much separated. Because Ric Flair, dude, he went crazy. He tried him and Jeff. It was bad. 
Uh, inside info, inside info from the chat room. Trey is letting us know that uh, Fozzie is booked for shows in uh, May. Mm-hmm. Could happen. Bobby? Did, did, did Ric Flair elbow his coat? Uh, it was ugly. I mean, he was like, I couldn't believe that he would hit on Ric Flair's wife right in front of him. Because he went, uh, hey, weren't you a Nitro girl? And she goes, yes. He goes, how about you be one of Jeff's girls? And Ric Flair oh, was not having that. It was bad. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, well, <laughs> did you hear they're going to do a statue of Ric Flair as the, as the uh, kind of unveiling for WrestleMania weekend? Oh, really? Yeah. So really? what, so what uh, we have, we have uh, Andre, we have Bruno, we have Warrior, and now we have Ric Flair. Uh, we have Dusty as I don't, well. I don't know if I like that because Flair's still kicking. Yeah, but I mean, we had Bruno. Yeah, Bruno. But I guess Bruno's yeah. not, you know, uh, is further out of the game than, than probably Rick has been. But Rick's been like retired for at least 10 yeah, years. Yeah, that's a good point by David in the chat room. Rick mm-hmm. Flair deadlifted like 600 pounds the other day. Also, yes, insane. Yeah. Yeah. That means he's probably going to be able to lift his own statue. I'm sorry, I'm taking the show off the tracks. That, I, the, 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 that's that's the nature. That is the beauty of this show. Have you ever this seen is, this show? Have you, have you heard this show yeah. in the early days? I yeah. mean, this is like. Us at our best. Um, Steve, Steve wants, he wants a statue of you, Sorg. Of me? Thank you, Riz, I was just some reason. Out. Side note. So, friend of the show, David Lagana, uh, has been working with, uh, since he's left Impact Wrestling, uh, has been working with Billy Corgan of Smashing Pumpkins on, on kind of a travel log kind of thing. Uh, they're basically RVing across, checking out all these music towns, and, and, and Billy's uh, playing live music on like Periscope and stuff, and they're doing kind of a, a, a nice little series about it. Uh, like I think it's called 30 Days, I think. Um, one of the first episodes, first, a lot of Ethan Carter references in there for, for those in there. Um, it, but there was a, one fact that was dropped that in Maria Canales' uh, hometown, apparently they erected a large statue of her. <coughs> cool. So, I, but I couldn't, I, I need to find this. She lives in like a small town, I thought. I, I think it was like a small, super small town, too. So. Uh, if anybody has a bead on this uh, uh, statue of Maria, I'm it's just, like Game of Thrones. It's like, like Game of Thrones. Giant. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of really curious, and I might be driving in that direction uh, in a couple months here, and I would completely detour to see the Maria statue. It's Maria on one side and Michael Bennett as you enter the town. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, um, wait, is Sword making a pilgrimage just to see that statue? I could. I could. Is that what's I, I happening think a little right bit. now? I might. Well, I mean, I'm going that direction. I'm going that direction. So I think I think it's completely completely doable. Um, also, this weekend, uh, geez, we can't really. I, I think we'll dedicate more time to this on the midweek war. But is there anything you guys are excited about for NXT Takeover on Saturday night? What's the card? The card, real <laughs> quick. I'll, I'll go over that. I don't. They changed the ad to a voodoo thing. The sons of bitches. Let me get that in a second. Well, of course, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura and Bobby Roode as the main. Really? No. Wait, oh, you, that's right. You're you're not. You talked about last time. You're not down with, with Shinsuke. He, yeah, I think he brings great shame to the Asian culture. But I'm a big Bobby Roode what? fan. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. But yeah. So that could be a good one for Roode. We have a four way with the ladies. Ox. 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 Oscar. Oscar. Damn it. Matt. Hey. I'm sorry. Oscar Thank brings you, great honor to the Asian culture. Uh, Oscar, Nikki Cross, Peyton Royce, and Billy K. Bobby. Matt, Matt, Bobby. do you think you, oh, do Billy you think awesome. our girls can take the the potluck? At least one of them. No, they're getting wasted. Oh, really? All three yeah. of them. They're going to get think annihilated. Oscar's gonna kill everybody in that match. I, I I'm telling. Yeah, the only question is which one of them gets pinned because I don't think they're going to pin uh, that that uh, the fourth girl with Nikki. Mickey Cross, Mickey right? Cross, who is amazing. Pen. Billy Kay and will probably eat the reason, pen. No. They, for some reason, Billy Kay gets all the matches while Peyton Royce has to watch from the outside. So I'm assuming poor Peyton, my girl, Peyton's the lesser of two pinned. Australians, is going to be the one getting pinned. Lesser. And BK hey. Broiler is going to stay strong for whatever <laughs> I will tell reason. You though, I will tell you, though, in the, uh, the videos they've been doing, Peyton has been doing a better job as a heel than Billy. She's also the more attractive of the two. True story. No. 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 Wait, which one's which again? What? (laughs) What? She's the Australian one. I honestly (laughs) cannot tell the truth. Okay, Riz, all Australians look alike. Well, yeah, kind of. But. Yeah. Yeah, I I can. No, yeah. They they either look like one of those girls or Crocodile Dundee. 
Jeez. <laughs> I love Billy Kay. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, I think <laughs> great. You don't have to apologize for it. No, no, I, no, no, no. You're, you're I love not. Oscar too, so I'm I'm conflicted. Do you have the yellow fever, Bobby? Jeez. Don't answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> I re- no comment. But honestly, Nikki Cross is... Is Nikki I, Cross I, a Jersey girl? Matches and it, it, no. She's amazing. She's, she's, I, I, she's uh, British? She's I love Billy Kay. Talented. Billy Kay is like... She's awesome. She's hot. Billy Kay is awesome. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Diggy Cross <coughs> is the one that's part of Sanity with uh, with uh, uh, oh, Eric, Eric Young. Young. Okay, and that's cool. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. like that a lot. She's the one actually. and she's like chewing on the rope and stuff. Like she's I, like the five foot one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. like her. She's she's the standout member of of Sanity. Oh, absolutely. I think, so far, absolutely. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. What? What? what, what? I mean, Riz, you, Riz, you made a noise. There, what, Riz, you made a noise. Eric Why did you make a noise? Noise. Why? Uh, because they also have big demo. demo. I don't well, count yeah, demo. I think the jury. You don't count demo. Jury's still out he's, on demo. Come he's on. He's in now. He accepted he, the officially? jacket. He accepted the yeah, jacket. He, accepted the jacket. <laughs> he threw it over his shoulder. I feel so like, behind on wrestling, but I feel like really bad about myself like, right hey, now. No, no, that's fine. That's so fine. Behind. There's a lot happening. You got you got all that tape of Chris Benoit to watch, so you got a lot to catch yeah. up on. <laughs> I do. Wait, so. wait, wait. We, we, we do have an addition to this conversation. What? Uh, Tina weighs in. Get Madison Eagles to sign, and you'll have a full full blown stable. Who's Madison Eagles? Tina. Who's Tina. What? Uh, I'm asking Tina. Let us know. <laughs> I think oh. she's another Aussie. Actually, <laughs> she's, a, she's another Aussie. I don't know. I'm not familiar oh, okay. with her. No. <clears throat> all right. Down with that. You know, Emma's an Aussie too, but I haven't seen her in months. And... But she's coming back. But she's she's coming, I hear she's, she's coming back. Soon. Period. <laughs> she's she's coming back soon. Yes. Right. Never. Soon. Soon ish. It could be now. It could be at the Rumble. You soon-ish. never know. When she could be hear, number twenty nine in the Rumble. Uh, when we hear somebody easy. call my mama, <laughs> then she'll be back. Oh my God, Emma coming in in the Rumble. That would be that would be great. <laughs> that would be a, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Um, other than that, uh, I think you usually run down the matches. Um, what, what, uh, we got DIY taking on. I'm sorry, I've been having trouble loading the show. For oh, a pray while. for DIY. Uh, what's that? DIY against pray who? for DIY. Why? What's wrong with DIY? Oh, are so more, more than likely, no, no, more pray than for DIY why? because they have to fight the authors of pain. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because those guys are. Or what? Satisfactory at best. <laughs> what? <laughs> or, really? What, Bobby, are you going to say babies? It's big dudes. Oh, they're doing big awesome, hurt. doing big guy stuff. What, what's they're your problem? They, they are Toka and Razor. Yes, I know. Oh, which which also makes they it They need awesome. to do more steroids. Oh. But they, oh. They're, they're, they're how, how you say, um, not so not safe. You know, yeah. oh. <laughs> now you see Bobby's getting work now. Oh, no. Oh no! But yeah, also, He's I, like, I, I these fa- guys are dangerous. Johnny Wrestling is going to get hurt. <laughs> nice. I'm missing. T- Tina got back to us on it. Okay. Uh, she's an Australian wrestler, primarily wrestles for Shimmer. So Trey would know who she is, likely. Okay. Um, and okay. I did put the tag, and I put Sorg in all caps for you to check out her Twitter profile. So yeah, we'll check that out later. Out. Yes, we watched. We dropped an intro <laughs> reference. Hey, I found the rest of the card, by the way. Um, Ember Moon <laughs> and Liv Morgan, the, the Jersey girl you were talking about, Hooven. That should be oh, good. Have you seen that her? should be good. I like Ember that Moon. Be great. She's awesome. Yeah. Have you seen Liv Morgan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I went to watch the women's wrestling Saturday, but they were all gone. I think they were at a march. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> okay, now you're oh. getting heel heel like. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, what else we got here? I don't know. It's all women's stuff on here, so I don't even know. Oh, this is for the show. Actually, never mind. I just called him. That's a match for NXT on Wednesday. Is uh, Liv Morgan and, and uh, Ember Moon? Oh, I thought that was um, part of the show. No, 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 no. This is uh, this is just a preview for January twenty fifth, oh. which is tomorrow. Uh, so I WWE fix your website seriously. Maybe it's time to have the discussion about how this takeover doesn't quite have the juice of past takeovers. But oh, we're certainly kind of not. Going yeah. into it with a lot of faith yeah. and hoping everything but works. It's out. probably going to be amazing. It, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll see if Bobby Roode kind of delivers. We'll we'll see what else comes from there. I mean, we we have no Finn. We have no Samoa Joe, right? In this one, is he still no. is he still kicking? He he got he got kicked. I think. I'll like tell you what, December. Scott, Scott Steiner had to carry him in TNA for this for that feud they did together. <laughs> That was a mess. So who carried between uh, Joe and her Angle when they did their feud? Angle. Okay. Okay. Well, they'll have a chance again, maybe. Um, I, I like that, especially since he disappeared. He could pop up in the Rumble. 
I can see he's that. He's Ty Dillinger fighting. Eric, Eric Young. Uh, Eric Young. Eric Young. Right. I, yo, I would like to see Ty yeah. Dillinger come out at spot number, number 10. 10 at the Royal Rumble. Yes. Yeah. But you know Absolutely. what would happen? One though, it would be okay there because I feel like sometimes NXT guys have like this. I love NXT because you watch it; it's really cool. But they come to the big stage and they don't have that intimate crowd to support no. them anymore. No. Not yeah. and it sucks. Yeah, I, feel, just... I feel like Bailey's suffering from that a little bit. I, I feel like everybody did. I, I think mean, a lot of people like Enzo and Cass. No, I, I think Enzo and Cass are doing very well. Yeah, for for everything. I mean, they're, they're but but I think now you have two guys, two two groups like an Enzo Cass and a New Day, and I feel like when you throw them both on a long segment in Raw, it makes that three hour Raw like wow, great mm-hmm. individually. Just kind of stretches that out a bit more with all the talking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mike's getting back to your comment about Ty. He says Ty is nowhere near ready for that. Yeah. And uh, another comment. Ty's been from, in NXT Kevin. forever, though. He's been there for how long? And he's like the best. He's the hottest character right now in NXT. I think they should bring back Ryback for the Royal Rumble. There we go. <laughs> exactly. There we go. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, there's nice there superstars. Yeah, Ryback's coming to Meadville. I who had the over under on on like like forty <laughs> minutes for this thing. Um, but but I, I wanted to bring it up. Ryback is coming to IWC in April. I know. You have been in an IWC ring now. I'm just saying. You know, Do I dreams think, come true? I think, Tell me if dreams come true. I think. If, also, how's this book? I think the book's great. It's actually <laughs> the first, it's, it's the first book I've read in years. I've got the digital download of it. Nice. Um, it's great. You know, it's about a guy that pursued a dream and how you can do your dream. Yeah. Um. I think now that we're making America great again, we need to make wrestling great again and bring back Ryback. And we need to make wrestling Ryback Because again. remember when Ryback was carrying CM Punk in those matches. <laughs> no, it's okay. No, it's okay. I tried. No, it's okay. I tried. No, it's okay. All right. Hear him out. Hear him out. Hear him out. You know, I, I want to talk to the Ryback, and I want to, I want to say something to him in April. I'll be like, hey, Ryback. I'm like, you know, I think uh, I think it's 85 degrees, and he'll be like, "Are oh, you stupid or something?" I'm like, "I guess I'm just stupid." Um, I'm a. I think he I think his head when he says "stupid." I ask everybody if they would ever mess with somebody that looks like Ryback at a bar. Everybody, I including myself, no, I would never mess with somebody that looks like Ryback at a no, bar. No, of course not. Would you mess with somebody that looks like Shinuke Nakamura? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You would. Did you call him Shinuke? No, don't worry about what my people do. Okay. Okay. All right. I think I think Ryback would bring back a level of prestige that WWE it desperately needs. Oh, right here, now. here we go. Okay. Billy, Billy Johnson is calling it. Ryback will be manager for Hooven and McChesney at the Legend Show. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. No, nice. I'm not wrestling. That's that's. I didn't sign up for that. No, no, I'm not no. wrestling. I mean. I mean uh, but Plummer but, did say you're just, wrestling though. Just, just tag with Ryback. It's like, ground. Stand on the apron. That's right. I mean, you had McChesney yeah. teaching you how to wrestle in the middle of the match. Yeah, he. he so I mean, you know, what, I, I, he's going to have to train. I feel what, bad from he has to get my butt back in shape. What What could you learn from Ryback in the middle of the ring? How to be a superstar. <laughs> how to be over. Like how fast that was. <laughs> and you know what? You can learn how to be a success if you read his book. And I have also ordered his new supplement line because I'm really sure. That the FDA is going to take it off the shelves once they actually look what's in there. I think right now you can buy legal steroids. Alpha if Mark, no brain. If Mark McGuire did it, you know, when you were in high school, you could buy Andro testosterone at GNC. You know, everybody could buy it because Mark McGuire bought right, it. Right. You would, you know, you grow muscles, you would cry a lot, and then like you know, grow facial hair. <laughs> And I think that Ryback could give you. I, I I just think I think if you put Ryback in the Royal Rumble, it would be the pop of the night. And he comes in, he, oh, yeah. he eliminates oh, yeah. Samoa Joe, eliminates Finn Balor, eliminates Kevin Owens. Eliminates Braun Strowman. Everybody, yeah, especially yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Who can stop Braun Strowman? Not The Undertaker, not, not uh, Goldberg. Ryback. Ryback. Secret. The, the secret is Ryback. The secret is Ryback. And also, you know, IWC has somebody that's very Ryback-esque, and we don't give him enough spotlight as it is. Wardlow? No. Wardlow's awesome. The T-Rex? The Kingpin Brian McDowell. You that's ever right. Him, you that's the Kingpin. Him, that's right. You ever see him get changed backstage? Dude, he's secretly no. jacked. Well, and he is secretly jacked. I, I appreciate that you're mentioning that because the chat room is talking about Kingpin will train you. Well, I talked to him. No, I told you yeah. earlier. I talked to Britt Baker mm-hmm. and John McChesney. Mm-hmm. And uh, John McChesney, he's going to take the lead and, and help me get into shape and get in the condition I need to. But uh, Bowler also told me if I needed any advice to call him because, I mean – Guys, if you see him changing backstage, I think that Justin makes him put a shirt on to hide it. He's like, he's huge. Mm-hmm. 
He's absolutely like like huge. It's dense muscle too. It's like the the Arn Anderson build. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the, the enforcer style. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. You know, hopefully we can get him on here. He's a hard man to reach, man. He's busy. His girl keeps him busy. Oh yeah. Plus that go, that bowling schedule. Uh, but anyways, so Riz. Yes. You did something very special for us today. Other than sign the uh, Good Times email address up for the C-SPAN alerts, which I was not terrible. Oh, was that you? Was that you that did that? I figured yeah, that was Riz. Oh, I I Riz of course the that. news guy did it. <laughs> of course the news guy did it. <laughs> what did I do? I, I didn't I want you to miss out. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I I'm getting like they didn't do things about the... the about that, about that, and then I just presumed you were taking this on, and uh, but the, but the, you you watched the majority of the Linda McMahon, um, 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 what, what, the, what the hell was it? Senate confirmation, Senate Senate confirmation. Hearing. confirmation. okay. The like, fill me in, news guy, uh, <laughs> Riz. How many stars what? do you give it? <laughs> uh, how. How, how much are we ranking the stars? Is it, is it five? Is it, On is a it scale the, of one uh, to five, and no six, six star bullshit. Is it the six star scale? No, no, we're uh, not melting this thing. Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Out two, of, and a half. two and a half. It's a two and a half star Senate hearing. There Riz, have been yeah, better. Much. Riz, would you say that the other senators carried her? Yeah. No, yeah. I was. I was expecting more of a uh, like a CM Punk run in, maybe a little bit of a. <laughs> A little bit of a, like triple A when when Cory Booker did say that that Stephanie was the better one of the two that <laughs> Triple H just oh, yeah, yeah, the, the Stephanie hammer and go ahead sorry uh, like, like just have Stephanie come or just have Triple H come over with a sledgehammer bash his head but bash the guy who looks like Maven's head in and then <laughs> and then go on from there. Uh, <laughs> it, does look it, like just, it just a, a random uh, it was just. A, a regular short what did, uh, wait, Senate hearing. What did you? No, legitimately. What did you expect this to be? Well, the chat well, room thinks uh, it was please, work, well, First of all, the job it that she's work. applying for it is, work. is applying for <laughs> is a small business loan office or the small business in the small business right. associate or whatever the right, fuck right. And right. we are a small business, so kind of interested in how this goes a little bit personally. We? We're going to make America great again, brother. That, that's we right. Are. Linda McMahon's part of that now. I Mrs. McMahon, I have a music. question. Stood up when out you of cover were... and kicked somebody in the nuts and then everybody went home. <laughs> Mrs. McMahon, I have a question. When you were comatose and had to be pushed around in <laughs> a wheelchair, <laughs> how do you think that will affect your performance as the Small Business, business Administration loan? You obviously have a history of uh, drug dependency. Um, <laughs> now, will, will you will, will you enforce a... Uh, what is this? A, Wait, hold on did your husband yes, make my, a... Stop worrying. Recovered. I'm still looking good. What, what is I'm this still now? Ready, what is this? Crook, Brook Shield still ain't got nothing on this, baby. Now, as far as those individuals responsible, Boogaloo Brown, you're nothing but a little jive talking spider monkey. Whoa, okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. okay all not, right, um, all right. Anyways, anyways. <laughs> no, no, this, hey, what are you saying? This is, wait, this is one of the best wrestling promos of all time. The Speedy Man Tagus, the Greek Old hey. Dyke. The last time she was with a man, she was one. As far as I'm concerned, you got a she freak over here. You got you got some idiot over here who thinks he's Desmond Tutu from Harlan. And together, these two cycles viciously and without any reason attack me. They split my head open. So here's a new game we should play. Wrestling promo or Trump campaign style? Ooh, Ooh that's a good one. That's a good, that's a good one for our political mayhem show we've been talking about, <laughs> actually. I, I actually really like that you idea. That guy from no, you Wars. know what? I told, I told somebody once... Racism is wrong, and being a minority, knowing the struggle, it is wrong. But in wrestling, it's okay. <laughs> All right. It do has we, been. Do, do we not remember? Right. Do, we, do we not remember Triple H telling Booker T he wouldn't be champion because he was from the hood? Yeah. Racism yeah. in wrestling, because wrestling is a way to escape. It gets people. It, 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 I think. I think racism helps. And it, it starts a conversation. If somebody made like Chinese eyes at me in wrestling, you know, I would understand that it's part of the act, which probably would have happened in the eighties, um, and it should happen now. Which probably does happen now in certain towns. It will happen now. It will happen now. Are you? Are you? We are going to Royal Valley. It is out in the middle of nowhere. It's it, 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 it's very possible. 
That's us. That's us. Sorry. I, I just want to watch more of the racist promos from the eighties. <laughs> Do you have like all these bookmarked in like one like YouTube? Um, file, if, like, if favorites. Account? If you search YouTube for racist wrestling promos, you get some of the most ridiculous pages, stuff right? you've ever seen. There was one where they actually took the one man gang to the ghetto. What's going on? Oh right. no! Uh, oh, I'm just, you, you have our undivided attention. No, no, no. We got you. Go ahead. I just, I, I just, and some of the Asian promos are out of control. They had, they had Fuji throwing rice at people. Yeah, that's true. Was a blind man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People thought I was related to Fuji. You know that, right? <laughs> like legitimately, <laughs> legitimately, because you happen to be around yes. wrestling and yes. you're there, Asian. I had two fans message me after he passed, offering their condolences, and they were being sincere. Is that why they call you Fuji backstage? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is legit. I've heard it. So <laughs> we've lost Matt Garland. I, I really wish there was a camera on him right now. No, you've heard it. <laughs> just, yes, I've heard it. Fans think that I'm. Some fans think I'm related to. Uh, and then oh, someone, now, now everybody's going to call you. Now everybody's calling you Fuji. You like, know. They're going to call you Fuji, and then hear they hear it from us. That's probably not the worst thing that happened. Oh yeah, that. They're, they're, yeah, no. <laughs> We're not talking about that one. Um, but anyways, uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know where to go. From. Oh, Linda McMahon. Was there anything else for us to note from this other than that one thing where, where a senator completely fanned out yeah. about Stephanie McMahon? Wait, Mrs. Really McMahon, did your husband make a woman uh, go on all fours and bark like a dog? Bobby, where are <laughs> please, you going? Please explain that. <laughs> I'm talking into my microphone like a senator. Oh, yeah, there where you, you go. Going? Okay. Oh. I was going to say, because he's like, he's like, they're going off camera to talk to us. And uh, there you go. But no, it, it was it was what you expected from a actual Senate hearing. Uh, but yeah, I was waiting for like some wrestling news to come out and be like, some guy actually think wrestling is real and going, did will you make somebody kiss your ass to save their job? <laughs> like point blank. I did see a gift today that had her saying, I wouldn't do anything that I wouldn't, or I wouldn't make my employees do anything that I wouldn't do. And then the next picture was uh, my mankind getting thrown <laughs> off the hell in the cell. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but to be fair, Linda has but, taken, there was, they listed in the one article was Linda has taken a tombstone, a stunner and something else. She's gotten Mr. Sacco once or <laughs> twice. Mr. Sacco did once or twice. She, yeah. she was a uh, comatose in a wheelchair. So that was a fun time. A really um, fun time. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, so, so she's been part of all of that. Um, while her husband makes out in front of she, so really yeah. the McMahons were ready made for Washington. If you think about it, this has been a long time House coming. Is this, I, th- right? I tell you what, I bet you there was no one more gleefully excited and un- couldn't believe what had happened about Trump being elected president than the McMahons. Like I can't believe it. We just start wagging to this guy and he's president. Linda, they're gonna, you're gonna be gonna make- something. They're going to make a show looking about for them. this political gig forever, Sorg. She's had two unsuccessful runs for Senate. Yeah. She's been trying to make this happen for a long time. Now she gets and then, to. And then she loses those two races, and she thinks she's, oh, I spent all my money, oh, $50 million down the drain. And then Trump gets elected president. We're going to Washington. We did it. She doesn't even need they're, to get elected to get to She could have done it for free. There you go. They're going to make go. they're gonna make a show called House of Cards Subject to Change. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I think it's just the nightly news at this point. But um, there, there you go. I, I think it'll be interesting. Um, um, you say yay or nay? Do you think we get a flashback very specifically uh, when we get into WrestleMania flashback mode uh, for of the year in the next couple of months of the Donald Trump moment at WrestleMania, or do oh, they continue yeah, to yeah. stay away from it? You think they don't do it? Okay, uh, uh, Carlos think, is shaking his head, shaking your head. I think Hoobin. they show it again. You think they show it? You think they, they finally the, the the black the 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 media blackout of mentioning um, politics and wrestling don't mix. Even Hooven agrees. Yeah, yeah. So thank you. Yep, thank you. By the way, the media, by the way, the media is dishonest and rigged. Sad. By the way, a Except former me, WWE employee just liked our comment about Linda not doing not not making anybody do anything that. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, Mr. DeJoseph just liked that comment about Linda. Uh, not not making anybody do anything that she wouldn't. <laughs> oh. So so there you go. If anybody was close to the source there, that'd be him. But uh, there you go. <clears throat> Guys, let's go to a break. 
There's a lot of stuff going on. We got a message from Shane Taylor um, about some stuff coming up here in the Pittsburgh area. If you guys are local to the Wrestling Mayhem show. And uh, we'll be back with a big question and the part that most of you have been waiting for, Mayhem Mania. Hey guys, Ring of Honor star Shane Taylor. Check out my interview on Indie Mayhem show. Check out Ring of Honor when we come uh, back to Pittsburgh February 11th at Stage AE. And come watch me, Shane Taylor, do what I do better than anybody else, and that's punch people in the face. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's back. There's it's no still a kick. I still oh, love God. this song. I'm mm. back in my college gym yes, looking out absolutely. for this song. That's right. Fucking, fucking forcible entry, man. We are back. It is a wrestling mayhem <laughs> show. And yeah, how else would we come back from break? Live chat room still hopping out there. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Daniel Hooven, accidental wrestling wrestler. Get your Britsburg hat, prowrestlingtees.com. Of course, of course. Cha-ching. Riz is with us as well. Bobby F. J. Town. Mad Mike's out there somewhere in Voiceland. I am a go. Welcome from Poughkeepsie, Woo. New York. And, of course, Matt Carlins, he was uh, kind of a floating voice. He's on the couch. He uh, <laughs> uh, 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 got the Dario Cueto. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm up to. Sh- I'm up to. Hey, I'm, hey, Matt, that's a great shirt. Where'd you get that shirt from? Uh, a good friend of mine got it for me. Was it ProWrestlingTees.com? No, no, I think it was Lucha yeah. Underground something something gotcha. shop. Wait, is that an Obama shirt? <laughs> no, it's, no it's better. It's a Dario Cueto shirt. There oh. you go. By the way, I'm up to episode before Cage. In a cage. Oh, that's ah, good one. Cage yes. in a cage. That, that's got one of my uh, an all time favorite moment of mine. When uh, I think uh, and Matt Mike can help me out on this. When he's he's beating Johnny Mundo with something, and somehow it just pops up in the air, and Cage like snatches it right oh, out of midair. Yes, I, I like Johnny oh, Mundo. So I what it was he? Uh, he I reminds me of the guy from Eminem. Um, Johnny, was, Nitro? Johnny Nitro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the same gimmick. I love it. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is accurate. Uh, but also, hey, thanks. Shout out because I realized we didn't do a commercial before in the mayhem before we went to break. Uh, <laughs> when Ric Flair's in town, <laughs> showtime. <laughs> Jeez. Um, but anyways, uh, shout outs to uh, Slice on Broadway, our good friend supporting Pittsburgh pos- podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, and feeding these gentlemen, these fine gentlemen in the studio, and also tonight, very special, providing us with a <laughs> surrogate. Big board for Mayhem Mania <laughs> later. Look at that. That's what happens. That's right. So thank you, you so a, much, uh, Lazon. Not Broadway. only do you get the delicious pizza, you could play Mayhem Mania. At yes, home. Mayhem the Mania. Home Mayhem about. Mania, the, the home, home version. version. There you go. Uh, but now is the time where we hit. Oh, so check them out, SliceOnBroadway.com. Oh, PJ underscore Slice on the Twitter. Uh, so now is the time for the big question. And Matt, you yes. said you have a big question. Well, I was kind of inspired by having uh, Dan here. And uh, talking about his his love for the Ryback, and uh, I just had a very simple question: like, who is your all time favorite just big hoss wrestler? That's it. Ooh, Ooh just okay. That's you know the kind one. of guy I'm talking about, right? Yeah, like a Ryback, like a Strowman, like a like a like an old <clears throat> yeah. Bundys and the and things like that, right? Yeah. King Kong Bundy, Dino Bravo, yeah, Wardlow. <laughs> I saw Wardlow do a flippy stuff up the top rope. I don't know if he qualifies yeah. as a big Wardlow, I don't Wardlow know. will he's people up, dude. I wouldn't mess with him mm-hmm. in a bar. No, no. Uh, that's a good question. Who wants to go first? Uh, I got one if no one has it yet. All right, go ahead, Mike. Um, mine, I it has to be Adam Bomb. Ooh. Adam Bomb. I, like, I once caught a football from him at a uh, show. Bobby, you... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Bobby, you have the weirdest interactions with wrestlers. I do. <laughs> How do you get your football from Adam Bomb? Remember when you used to throw those little footballs on? Oh my god, that's right. That's yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. The little the, the little mini nerf balls uh-huh. with the nuclear symbol on with the radioactive symbol on it. Oh, I have geez. it somewhere. Don't ask me where. I don't oh know. Oh my god. Yeah, no, but um back in the day, Adam Bomb was one of my guys. I don't know mm. why I just loved Brian Clark. And then when he went to WCW when he teamed with Brian Adams and they became chronic. That was that was literally the only reason I watched WCW for a very They had time. that classic <laughs> match with The Undertaker and Kane. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Real classic. Yeah, they did. Man, I don't know about him, but I really liked Wrath. Yeah, wasn't Wrath, that was, Wrath was the shit, too. Wait, wasn't that Canyon? <laughs> no, 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 that's Canyon Mortis. Canyon was Mortis. Oh, Mortis. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Canyon was Mortis, but Wrath, I forgot about Wrath. Yeah, Wrath was amazing, too. Wrath was like my go-to in WCW vs. NWO Revenge for a long time. <laughs> Until I discovered that Glacier can do the 10-hit cryonic kick, and then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm switching to Glacier. There you go. That's so, the yeah. first time anyone's ever said that. <laughs> I'm switching to Glacier. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little karate guy, too. Like a random karate dude that was in there. Jerry Flynn. Ernest the Cat Miller. I mean, there was a time, because when... Uh, I, I gave Hulk Hogan the the karate. No, that no, was no. The... it was one of the weird like alternative like not yeah. real wrestlers that they had in there, which was Aki so, Man. So odd. Um, it was Aki Man and THQ Man, wasn't it? Yeah, I, it was Aki Man and THQ I'm, Man. I, I'm so sorry to interrupt this, but we had a comment from friend of the show, Chris DeJoseph, by the way. Which uh, hold on, let me let me bring it back up here. Uh, it says uh, Triple H wish he would have pedigreed uh, Blumenthal through uh, the table on C-SPAN Live went off the air. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Stay tuned for reaction. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, tri- Triple catch H does us, the high after spot the after hearing work. on C-SPAN three. <laughs> tri- Triple H, Triple H does the big high spot, and, he, and then he looks around. And he's like, "What? There's no overrun." <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, but anyways, uh, <laughs> who, who wants to go next? Who's your big, big Haas favorite? <clears throat> Brian McDowell, the Kingpin. Okay. Yeah. Do you have an answer that's not uh, Kingpin or Ryback? Who's your third favorite host? Pro Wrestling Tees. Yes. Um, pro, <laughs> no, my third favorite big guy? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Scott Steiner. Yeah, I was going to say. I've, I've, had, I've, 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 I've interacted with him multiple times, and it's mm-hmm. been memorable each time. I love Scott Steiner. And he's obviously a guy that you followed and memorized all his promos. Yeah. Now he owns his Shonies. Yeah, Scott Steiner's a good man. I think so. Okay. You ever hear a story about when they mm-hmm. asked him to take a piss test at the WWE? They said they were going to drug test him for, for steroids. He goes, okay, we'll send, uh, send Triple H down to the limo. We'll both go together. He said the limo never showed up. <laughs> 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 well, there you go. Um, awesome. Uh, Riz, do you have one? Yes, I got one. <laughs> and you, you think thing. you know who it is. <laughs> I wouldn't qualify him as a hoss. Edge? I'm not. Uh, no. Uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. Yeah, oh, God. He's a legend. That's a good, that's a good choice. That's like, a good one. That's a good one. I like Billy Johnson's answer to T Rex. This is feud <laughs> with Taz. <laughs> we'll get to the Period. chat in a moment. I got I got a few from the chat here. Um, but yeah, no, I like I like Bam Bam. Uh, that's a good one. And, and crazy, crazy athletic. Yeah. So. Crazy. Dude, you gotta watch some early Bam Bam stuff from even before he was in ECW. He mm-hmm. he was out there. Like he he wrestled like kind of like what Cage does now. Really he was agile. he was my favorite in the WrestleMania NES game, like the original mm-hmm. NES game. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. He did a cartwheel. So bad. He did a cartwheel. Come on, he did. That was, that was great. He carried Lawrence oh, Taylor flames. in the WrestleMania match. That's, That's true. Too. He has a ma- WrestleMania true. main event. That is true. And yeah, his his stuff in ECW with with uh, Rob Van Dam and obviously Taz is awesome. Mm-hmm. It's all awesome. Well, okay, I don't want to read these. I think, Taz, I want, I think I Taz, is, Taz is such an overrated wrestler. You don't believe oh. that? No, no. He, I'm actually he's my he is my number one favorite wrestler of all time. Taz. There you go. Yeah, I could almost qualify Taz as a hoss. You, you know, no. See, Taz fits. In, I love Taz. I love everything about him. I was, you know, but guys made him look better than what he was. He reminds me of Samoa Joe. Oh yeah, where the guy makes him look like a real badass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but but he does it like with his presence. Oh, and his with the way he carries yeah, absolutely. himself. I mean, absolutely. There's a lot of shorter guys who go out there, and that's and no matter how tough yeah. they try to look, you don't buy it. But somehow with Taz, it works. Because he had the Brooklyn why. accent, he had the uh, the dark skin. Uh, he reminds me of Santana Diamonds a little bit. He, I'm um, not sure what he is, but he's somebody. dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> he um, it, it's one of those things that ACW was really good about was framing people, right? Like like framing them in in, in these aspects and and making them look look amazing. Well, you got to do that in I pictures. You gotta, yeah, oh, absolutely. You got to do the pictures, man. The way they shot the guy, the way the way a lot of wrestlers was. were pissed off at the fraternity for attacking me because they said not only shouldn't you put your hands on Hooven, but we don't have pictures anymore. Yep, that's short sighted. I made them look like superstars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, Bobby F J Town. 
uh, does Crash Holly count? Um, Crash Holly. Crash Holly. Holly. In Crash Holly's mind. He, he was a super heavyweight. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I, I'm gonna go with Earthquake. Nice. Yeah, nice. That's yes. a good choice. because because he I, made you I, cry. No, no. Tugboat made you cry. When Tugboat turned Tugboat. heel on the Bushwhackers, I cried legitimately. <laughs> <laughs> but be, 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 beyond that, I watched the other day. I think it was the 1990 Royal Rumble or something like that. An earthquake come onto the ring, and he started just jumping. <laughs> I laughed so hard. I was like, I totally forgot about this. And he just started jumping around, like, and nobody was in the ring with him. Mm-hmm. He was just jumping to cause an earthquake, and mm-hmm. it brought back great memories of earthquake. And and he 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 squished Damien, yeah, broke Hulk say. Hogan's ribs. I mean, he was a good guy too. A, and yeah, he, he was a really good guy. He was yeah. like he and actually he, was involved with Wrestle Crap, like one of the greatest websites that was ever made. He was involved <laughs> yeah. in that heavily. Yeah, he's, he also I, really enjoys Cartman. Yeah, Golga. Yeah, Golga. <laughs> oh my god, I still Golga, can't believe that whole thing I, also, happened. Also, I, I dark. He was the he is Shark Boy's father. Shark. Fun fact. Yes. <laughs> they yeah. look exactly can? alike. Shark. Okay. The shark. Oh no. Uh, Matt, what about you? Uh, for for me, it's got to be it's got to be Kane. Um, it's got to be Kane. Like especially when he was in his heyday. Um, I just was very much into Kane. Um, right around that like late 99, 2000, 2001. And I got to tell you, I, w- I was a big Kane fan around the time of that uh, 2001 Royal Rumble that Austin won when Kane was the last one left in the ring with him after The Rock had been eliminated for like, so for like 30 seconds, you get this glimmer of like, maybe Kane might win. No, that wasn't going to happen. But like, that, that was a pretty amazing moment. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've always enjoyed Kane. And it's, it hurts me now to see Kane in the ring and his Dockers. <laughs> and, and just not being what he was before because but dude still very good for his was age huge and like could totally could move and just yeah. looked awesome in the ring and obviously you know once he was unmasked he proved what he could do um <clears throat> you know promos and all that stuff he's done it all daniel bryan you know just name it i mean dude's super talented can i go Amazing. new can i go new on this uh-huh. for one sure. of my favorites here like 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 i'm a really big fan of mil muertes right now as as yeah. a big dude, Lucha Underground, like I, you, you're you're bringing it to my mind with with, with a shirt over there. But uh, absolutely, absolutely, Missy is really pondering her answer for this. Producer Missy, if it counts, I, both those count. I am both those count. You want to you want to uh, share your thought process with us here a little bit? Well, my thought process is I'm stuck in the '90s and like early 2000s. That's for wrestling. okay. Did you hear that earthquake co- reference earlier? Yes, actually, yeah. I, I referenced like, Adam yeah, Bob. Really Lots that. of bunches. Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> they're bad. I'm, I've got a toss up between Tess and Kevin Nash. Oh, Tess is underrated. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Tess was a good Tess, big guy. Sci-fi Tess was tests? the more athletic Kevin Nash. What's that? Yeah, thank you. Sci-fi That's Tess. Tess. Sci-fi when he was Tess. juiced to the gills. Dude, when Sci-fi, t- when Tess showed up on ECW Sci-Fi and was just juiced out of his mind, it was yeah. the greatest yeah. thing I'd ever seen. Like he put on like a hundred pounds and just like muscle, and he was like, like he'd walked around just like shaking and sweating. It was awesome. But you remember, he just came back like twice his size. Yeah, and, yeah. and it was terrifying to see. <laughs> and I was like, that, that can't be right. Well, it's like, like Big Show came on that show and was just like completely devastating and looked pissed and overweight. And he hasn't slept for months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. Professional wrestling? And yeah, I know pro wrestling. I know. So, uh, and, 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 and you know what? I, I know, I know Nash, Nash catches a lot of flack, but I mean, you can't argue like against success. I mean, just like. Mm-hmm. To be on top for as long as he for is, sure. and just that, and he had so it, much, and it, not like that awkward big guy like lumbering. Yeah. I mean, when yeah, personality, he, he, yeah, yes. was that, the biggest thing. thing too. Yeah, he was he was a big guy that I didn't mind seeing in front of a camera because he wasn't he wasn't awkward. He he could cut a good promo and like legit. He's not a big shit goofy people. guy. He was also in Magic Mike. Why are we bringing? Why yeah. are we? Okay, one one thing that keeps coming yeah, up in the chat room is Sweet Sapphire. I don't know. Oh no! Come on! <laughs> I don't know that really. Wait, wait! That's just, the Million Dollar that's Man bought just, her, didn't he? Was that? He was tugboat and Punisher. We didn't. Wait, what? Sweet Sapphire didn't. Uh, <laughs> wait, that, what? That's the uh, Dusty Rose's valet that Million yeah, Dollar Man I bought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That was a good promo. That's a sad promo. <laughs> Sweet Sweet Sapphire. Yeah. When she turned? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, Billy Johnson says, Haystacks Calhoun. 
Oh yeah, that's, yeah. That's a good one. A good like you one. saw him. Hmm? No, I'm just. I'm sure he did. Uh, Tina <laughs> Tina says Big John Stud. Mm-hmm. He was okay. a good one. Okay. He was a good one. Uh, is, 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 is it his son that's wrestling now? I I think we saw him in VOW about a year ago. Uh, come through. Yeah. So who's son? Uh, Big John Stud's son. Yeah, he's uh, he lives in Butler, I think. Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty. Yeah, local. he's local. Yeah. So because like his entire family was there. So uh, so that that that's that's one. Uh, Aaron out there wheels uh, says Hercules. Uh, Hercules Hernandez, I believe. Ooh. Right. So that, would you yeah. count Big Boss yeah. Man in that too? How do we? Big Boss Man can count. He's a big- how did, how did we go this, this this long without mentioning Vader? Oh, oh that's a really good. How, how do we forget that's Vader? That's really good, Riz. Mm. Hmm? No? I forgot Vader. Yeah, we didn't talk what about, about Vader. Elegante. Now. Talk about Elegante. a guy <laughs> ahead of his time. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. Um, uh, Steve, Steve. Steve. Aside from saying sweet <laughs> sapphire, says King Mabel. Yeah. yeah, he was a good big guy. I mean, the king thing was kind of like uh, I like when he was still. Big Daddy V and was shirtless. Hell, yeah, <laughs> when he was the love Big Daddy v machine. Was the shit. He was the love machine and hitting on the spicy meatball Lillian Garcia. I I will say his spinning heel kick is still one of the most unsafest things I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. It really defied physics. It defied should not have been possible. It, it reminds me of that scene from old school where you have the chunky fat kid doing the the vault. <laughs> Mang every single time. Mm. Mang. 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 Oh, oh Mang is yeah. and, and fuck Haku too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we're just naming everybody at this point. We we have everybody mentioned from the from the chat room. <laughs> Marshall the bull Gambino. There you go. Yeah. He, there he, you he's go. the reason I'm in the business today. There you go. Hashtag yeah. move this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you saw them back when they were the moving company. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, I still no, they, have that hat. They were uh, when they were in Japan. They were just the Gambino brothers. They, okay. Yeah, they didn't do the moving truck gimmick there, but no. uh, they told me about it at the merch table. Well, nice. Marshall did. Marshall did. Yeah. All right. So we do have. Uh, I wish I re- uh, we we so had it. So by the way, that that's if we started the Mayhem show, like. If Twitter was a thing back in the day, it would have been "Hey Game Vienna Bars hashtag Move This." That's right. That's right. Uh, there was yeah. a mention we didn't touch on it. I feel like I feel like probably because it was a little bit on the obvious side, but Andre the Giant is mentioned. Um, oh yeah, but I, mean, well, I don't even know. What about, what, about, what about Big Bad Billy Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> but would Andre qualify as a hoss? But I well, I think compl- um, I think in in the in the idea that we're in here, yeah, a, a little bit. <laughs> okay, because I mean, he never really like. Moved like a hoss. That's why I don't oh, even know did, if I qualify. Did like, not... yeah. No, no. But yeah. like, I, I, I don't yeah, know if I qualify. Kali is that? That's true. They're that's like true. they're like different. That that's a different. That's a big man. That's not a, a big Kali guy. A big. big guy and everything he does counts because he's a big guy kind of thing. Right? Is there a class yeah, above so. hoss? Is there like super hoss? Yeah, there you go. Super yeah. Ryback. <laughs> is Ryback a super hoss? Ryback, Brock Lesnar. There you go. There you go. All right. So uh, last week there was a um, we were talking about tournaments, and somebody hit us up on Twitter when we we, we had that the question float around, and it says I got the he was like I, I got this idea for a three three man tag tournament, but but couldn't really share it on Twitter, right? So um so you know he says don't expect anything revolutionary as a three man tag is, is oh this is a uh, uh, Sebastian out there by the way um um so three man tag is quite a throwback to older times of American pro wrestling while at the same time it's still highly prevalent in Lucha Libre and of course it's happening in New Japan now it's happening in Ring of Honor so I, I think it's kind of uh, making a comeback as far as that he says he, he has a few ideas he'd like to see WWE explore if they were to put together such a tournament which would be uh, established talent rather the be a springboard like a, a CWC or the UK tournament. Uh, participant would obviously include the existing three-man factions that are the Wyatts, the New Day, and, and the, on the side note, this tournament could help cement the dissolution of New Day in the long run, um, for for example. Uh, one idea also springs to mind, this is a one-off tournament, could could please the fans by finally bringing the Shield back together for one night. That could be a big advertising thing. The club is also a frequent three-man team uh, group on the main roster, uh, but what if AJ Styles was busy with his title defense? The tournament would be perfect vehicle to ease maybe a Kenny Omega into a casual fan's mind, and if he ever signed a, a, his, his uh, is that? deal. Kenny Omega. Well, 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 he's well, big in Japan. He's big in Japan. Big deal in Japan. He's big in Japan. Uh, oh, okay. six stars. Six stars. Does he? Uh, does, 
he, I watched the uh, Nakamura and uh, AJ Styles match from two years ago. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. Is he on that show, the Wrestle Kingdom? Yes, show? he is. Good yes, he, is. He, is. he was on last year. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, if, one of the junior heavyweight, probably. At that what was the match Okada. everybody was talking about? Omega and Okuda or Okada? Okada. 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 Yeah. Should I Google that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Was yeah. It so, so it's very easy. Yeah. Uh, put put aside about forty five. Block out an hour. Yeah, block out, block out an hour. Yeah. It's it's hour. It's not, it doesn't feel that long. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 it doesn't. <laughs> the entrance so is amazing. Poor Hooven alone. fell asleep just thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, Hooven, as soon as you see, as soon as you see Kenny Omega's entrance in that match, you will be all in. There you go. I guarantee. There you go. Uh, back you to the- say, feed me more. <laughs> Um, no, he, but uh, no, no, but he evokes something else. That I'm pretty sure you're probably going to be a fan of. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Uh, he says, uh, da, 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 where was I? Something about the bullet club. So, no, no, the club. Uh, Jericho and Zane seems to be natural. Or, I'm sorry. Owens, uh, Jericho and Zane seems like a natural would tie in the dynamics of 2017 so far. If they end up against the well, uh, monsters a like Braun, Rusev, and then we're Owen. Uh, calls from NXT. One three man tag could be constituted. Um, if W puts a uh, uh, resources in motion uh, for for Lucha Underground, for well, they've already been trying to get Lucha <laughs> Underground. Maybe we could see a Matt Cross, Angelique, Angelico, uh, Jack Evans, Ricochet, or Hio Del Fantasma uh, score big uh, in, in a tournament like this. So there, there's kind of an idea, kind of fleshing out the big question we had from last week about like favorite tournaments that you would have. So. Thanks, Sebastian. Thank you so much, Sebastian. For Thank you. I'd like to have a submission also, tournament. Also, Sorg. To win. What's that? You can oh. only have a submission tournament. You can only we, we actually brought that up last week. That that that, yeah, yeah. Is that, that, that was, Jackson's idea? Yeah. I think it might Jackson have been. Jackson Argus. Yeah. Or a bra and pa- Remember the good old days of women's wrestling? We got a bra and panties tournament. <laughs> yes. They're going to have a women's Sorg. tournament. Though. We could also do a mixed tag team tournament. That would be fun, actually. That would be, I, I think really, that would be fun. really interesting. I just wanted to say that I'm really glad that somebody sent us mayhem mail. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> like, good times. Like I, exactly. Good times. Well, this is the, the good times of wrestling mayhem This is your first uh, uh, mayhem mail since you took over the, uh, the, uh, the production well, duties. Well, how long has so. it been since we've had a mayhem mail? That's true. What well, is that? We get some from here and there. C-SPAN emails us all the time. Yeah, yeah. C-SPAN emails <laughs> us. <laughs> that's, uh, is, some, is somebody, what, they email you? Yes. Yeah. I hope it's good. I hope it's positive. Well, well that's you, what we just read. You can email us every week, Dan. Like, Technically, just about everyone on this show started as an emailer. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Pretty pretty much. Actually, pretty I much. I started as a photographer. Sword. You did. You did. Now you're a wrestler. I started as a stalker. In training. He's, in training. He's not a wrestler, sword. Yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. I, I'm not a photographer anymore. Um, John is going to teach me how to wrestle. And on February 25th, apparently we're... Challenging the fraternity to a tag team title match at Proving Ground. I'm sure I'll go fine. Hashtag Hooven Ground, which is what Plummer said. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like you, I feel like you know, four Hooven, weeks. Hooven, if if you're gonna turn the photographer gimmick into a wrestling gimmick, you <coughs> need pun themes for your finishers. That's yeah, true. Like oh, the man. perfect shot. No, uh, I don't know. The I don't right know. angle. I, listen, I you need, know stuff I, like that. I need to learn how to. Th- I need to learn how to actually wrestle first. That's the thing. Like I have four weeks of details, for details, details. There's plenty of time for that kind of stuff. You could. It's you all could, about marketing. You, you need your own DT. shirt on ProWrestlingTees.com. That's true. John too. Cena hasn't been able to wrestle for 15 years, and he's doing just fine. <laughs> you could do a move called the Dark Room and send people to the Dark Room because they have a concussion. I want to yes. call it. I want to call it unlimited data in tribute to Jimmy DeMarco. <laughs> <laughs> because he told a bunch of the he told a bunch of the guys that I played data in the Goonies mm-hmm. when I first came around. By the way, by the way, I don't know if you saw this, but there was a thread about about your 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 deal uh, the other the other day, um, which uh, of course hashtag Hooven Ground hashtag Night of Hooven uh, hashtag uh, Who Who Vengeance? Uh, what? Wait, wait, wait what? <laughs> who Vengeance? Who Vengeance? Um, oh hashtag God. Hoovement Day. Hashtag Hooven takes all. Hashtag Rumble in Hooven Valley. Yeah. Hashtag Ho- House of Hooven. Uh-huh. Hashtag Promotional consideration paid for by the Hooven. <laughs> Guys, they're gonna they're gonna uh, kick that this. That was a throwback. This, hashtag, <laughs> it's a good one. No, 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 no. It gets better. Oh. It gets better. Hashtag a call to Hooven. Hashtag uh-huh. showdown in Hooven Town. <laughs> hashtag 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 Hooven Fury. Uh, Hooven Cataclysm. Hooven hath no fury. <laughs> November Hooven. Hooven, Hooven loaded 4.0. Oh, 
<laughs> I think it's definitely in the name of next 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 year's uh, 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 event. Uh, let's see, Hooven Payne, the Hooven to Super Indie, and uh, my favorite may be Unhoovenable. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> if, if I may throw throw one out, uh, Hooven to Guerrera. <laughs> <laughs> It writes itself. Oh. You can have this. You can have all of this. Hey, Are you hey, hearing, hey, Plumber? I, I listen. This is a, a baby step thing. Like I said, I need to learn how to wrestle. Um, I, I, I didn't ask any part of it. I, I thought it was a joke. They broke my camera. Now apparently, either way, Don either McChesney, way. you, I know big, he's training. Big, big, you Don really? McChesney, like the greatest champion in IWC history, <coughs> beat, beat has like, to take he, care of he me. He beat like CM Punk and Christopher yeah. Daniels and a bunch of guys in but one night. I've, like he literally has to be almost a one man gang. I mean, I don't know how much he can teach me in four weeks, but I know we're going to try. So I'm pretty sure you're saying that you're looking for some who vengeance. I am looking for some who vengeance at Hooven Ground. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. But Thank apparently, you. and I didn't. I swear to you, I swear. When I saw the poster today, I I texted Plumber. I said, "Listen, we're talking about my camera, and you have me on a poster to wrestle." And he goes, "You heard what I said. Get some gear. You're going to wrestle." So I am. I'm terrified. That's right. You are. Definitely... I am. I'm Who terrified. Who took a picture of you without your shirt on to go yeah. on that poster? You're you're doing the reverse Spider Man. Somebody hacked your Instagram, or what happened? Listen, my Snapchat <laughs> has a lot of things on it. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I'm I'm terrified. I'm excited though because John McChesney is the a legend in IWC and one of the best wrestlers like out there. And uh, he has a task to make me. It's like that movie, The Rookie, with Dennis Quaid. He has to take a 32 year old man and make him be able to survive in a ring against the fraternity. This is kind of like when um, Hulk Hogan had to tag with Mean Gene Okerlund. Yep. Pretty much, Remember yeah. Mm-hmm. He got him ready. There you go. There you go. There's that picture. And that was a that was a nude picture I sent to one of the girls. I sent it to a rat, and uh, <laughs> it ended up on a poster. There you go. There you go. I, I need a video of McChesney making you drink raw eggs and saying you're going to eat lightning and crap thunder now. I I, I will do whatever I'm told at this point because I can trust. I trust him to help me. Like he didn't have to come out and save me, and he did. And, uh, you know, I owe him a lot for that. So it, who, uh, Proving Ground is going to be an interesting show. Either way, Hooven Ground. Hooven Mania is running wild. The and... training process will go faster if you do it via a montage. <laughs> Preferably with some very... <laughs> That's, a That's, That's a fair point. That's a fair point. That's if I'm, I'm nervous, though. Like I said, I, I have to learn how to be able to... Def- not, not only defend myself, but hold up my end of the deal. In, in what, we have four weeks till Hooven Ground? And wrestle without classes. It's gonna be tough. That's it's gonna be tough. That's why I told I already told John we have to have colors so I can see colors. But like I know they'll be in red. Maybe we'll be in like <laughs> blue or black or something. But you, you need to wear one of those goggles that go around like, like that wrap oh, around. Yeah, oh yeah, like yeah, Scotty Pippen. Yeah. I'm in oh, trouble. Oh, Horace Grant. It's, Horace it's, Grant. So. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Yeah. It's it's gonna be an event to say the least. I'm really? I'm scared out of my Looking pants. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. So, um, uh, so there's Human Mania, but there's also the Mayhem Mania, Mania also running mm-hmm. wild. There it is. Brought to you by Slice. <laughs> I like how you keep covering him up I'm with this. <laughs> just like hoping I'm smack Hooven in the face with this thing. Accidentally. All right. On purpose, hit Hooven in the head. Explain. Are you a secret fraternity member? <laughs> Mania. Wait, were you in a fraternity? <laughs> nope. 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 Um, so, uh, yeah, so this is uh, Mayhem Mania. The goal, Daniel, is to, for us, it's it's kind of like a competitive thought experiment where we're trying to create our own WrestleMania card. Um, is right not necessarily. Involved. Well, this is where the fun starts. <laughs> Um, where the, 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 the deal is we're not trying to predict what WWE is going to do. We're trying to make an even better WrestleMania, basically. But it has to be within the realm of reality. So, so everyone we're going to use has to comes in their current physical, contractual, emotional state. Uh, I think I summed it up pretty well in the first post when I said, basically, we're Vince McMahon with unlimited money and no self-control. So you got that second part so right. So basically, you can stretch it. Yeah, it's possible. So, so it could happen. So <laughs> so if it could happen, you can get away with it. If you flirt with the boundary too far, I'm sure someone will scream, cry foul. Okay. Um. So last week, the very first round, we basically are trying to 
We're working off of an eight match card. Oh, what is this? We're not going to go. We're not going to go over. We're Denmark. not going to go. What? That's. There's rules to this. There's rules to this. Last week we created. Last week we created eight matches. This week, each of uh, you five <laughs> will get to make one change to this card. You'll yes. get to either swap out a wrestler or a tag team for a different wrestler or a tag team, either within the card itself or bring someone from off the card and swap someone else off. You can kill an entire match and create an entirely new one with previously unused wrestlers, or you can actually add an additional wrestler or tag team to and make it like a three-way or... Um, yeah, something like that. So let's go through the How'd card that this? we have here. How'd you get this Our boy there? Tonio Garza and uh, El Paso Garza's makes these for us. Skills, that's man. sick, man. Yeah, yeah, he's that's awesome. awesome. He's great. Sorg, you want to scroll to the top of the page? We'll run through the yeah, card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're in, you're in the same order, right? Yeah, yeah we're in the same right, order. We figured this out. So My pizza box is ordered. Oh, wait, and, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look right. at what the oh, uh, what matches are. Here is the card as it stands right now. We've got American Alpha versus the Kings of Wrestling. That's Cesaro and the former Chris Hero. Uh, now Cash Asono again. Uh, we've got Kurt Angle versus Samoa Joe. We've got AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. We've got Finn Balor versus Hideo Itami. We've got Jack Gallagher versus Simon Gotch. We've got Barack Lesnar versus Kevin Owens. We have a three-way mixed tag team match. The Miz and Maurice versus Dean Ambrose and Renee Young versus Rusev and Lana. And we have wow. Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. So, um, like I said, everyone's going to get to make one change to the card this week. Uh, Daniel, you will go last. Can because include, uh, that way you could see how everyone else does it. Can thing. it include independent wrestlers that could sign? Yes. Okay. I'm excited about it. If it, really, if it could happen, then... Uh, <laughs> like, like it can logistically Wait, really? happen. If it can happen, then it can happen. <laughs> wow, we are really loosening this up this year. Well, I wouldn't say so. I just I, I said it's I, within the bounds of reality. I remember so, getting so. yelled at for putting like Daniel Bryan on the list. Well, that's because he's that's physically awesome. unable. He anyway, he let's get started. Okay, yeah, he's a quitter. Bobby, you're going what? first. Sorg, I'm you're on first? deck. Bobby, you go first. What? Oh, God. All right. Let's see here. Usually, I tell him who's going first in the order, and then I recap the card. Sorg, that's where. Bobby, I didn't up. you want to change? Uh, I'm out of practice. Screw this though. up, Bobby. I can't. Oh, I could swap somebody in a, from a match to another match, right? Yeah. Sure okay. can. Yep. Then I'm going to do what I wanted to do last week. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to swap out. I'm waiting. Let's see. Bobby. I'm going to swap out Finn Balor okay. and Shinsuke Nakamura. Ooh. Mm. Okay. So we're going to... Swap move, knock. We're gonna swap Nakamura for Balor. <laughs> Tommy still has a job too. Yeah, oh. he's, he's, I like he him. just got ready. He's he just injured. got cleared. I like him a lot. I hope he's in the Rumble. I don't think the fans that would, would actually be really cool. That'd be mm -hmm. a cool surprise. All right, Sorg, you're up. Mad Mike, you're on deck. Oh, that's me. That's you. That's me. That's me. Yeah, um, sure. So we, we, we swapped Nakamura and Balor, so that gives us uh, Nakamura, Tommy, and Balor and Balor, <clears throat> Balor and Styles, mm -hmm. which I think was called for in the chat room, too, by Billy. Mm -hmm. So so you got that. We got Angle and Joe. That was mine last week. We got American Alpha and Kings of Wrestling. Lesnar Owens. Man, I like so much of this. Um, <laughs> let's. I, seriously, I wouldn't change a lot of this. Yeah, I know. Well, you got what Wyatt. So painful. Tell you what, you you got Wyatt and Orton, and you said I can swap in somebody, right? Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know, Orton. I'm liking where this is going, but I, I just think that the Wyatt Orton. I, I feel like it, it's going to happen here soon. It, it could be a main and match anyway, so it seems like the obvious thing to me. So let's uh, let, let's, let's let's throw out. Let's throw out Mr. Uh, uh, Orton. Oh, oh, geez. There was something I saw the other day. There was a good picture of Dusty Rhodes and, uh, and Mike Rotunda. Right next to a picture of oh, Husky no. Harris oh, and no. Cody Rhodes. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, no. So, so can we do this? He's not contracted anywhere. No, I think he is contracted. Is he now? He signed over he in Japan. Uh, Japan, so... 
No, I don't think that's going to well, be happening. Well, then I'll mix it up. And Ring of Honor. He's then I'll mix Honor. it up. I mean, Goldust is still there. A new rejuvenated Goldust will take on go. Bray Wyatt. All and right. it won't be Goldust now. It'll be and and, and Garza, you don't have to do the it with in right my you. mind. Gold dust in a suit. You don't, <laughs> no, 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 no. Gold but dust in a suit. In my mind, it, gold dust is like not freaky gold dust, but like more serious gold dust. The artist, but still Dusty painted it in a full but body. It's latex. actually yeah, black right. rain. Ball black gag rain. <laughs> no, no, not that part. Black rain. Not that part. So gold <laughs> dust nipples. versus Wyatt in a match I care about. Okay. There you go. Wow. Clash of wrestling royalty. Very nice. All there right. You go. There you go. And it could play on a little bit of, yeah, they can not outright say it, but, you know, we come from a long lineage of us fight, our families yeah. fighting. You know what I mean? All like, the generations. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Much like, like feels like it's happening with uh, Cody and uh, Karina right now uh, a right. little bit. You know, there's a history there and they can play off that a little bit. So okay. Mad Mike, you're up. Riz is on deck. Yay. Okay. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to add or replace to a match. It's the same match I'm thinking of. Um, you know what? I, I know Jen isn't going to like this. I'm going to do a replacement because I'm looking out for the well-being of Renee Young. Oh, mm. good. good call. Good call. I'm All looking. Right. I'm looking out for the well-being of Renee Young. I don't want her in there with the likes of the Miz and Rusev, handsome Rusev. Um, we're going to change <laughs> Ambrose and Renee Young, and we are going to put in John Cena and Nikki Bella. Oh, you know what? That might actually be an upgrade. You're Ooh. right. <laughs> there you go. I, I like that. I like that. That, that. that changes the complexion of that match a good bit, and, and in the positive, I think. Yeah, and I like keeps John out of the main event. Yes, that is my point. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, Rez, you are up, and uh, who yeah, actually combines you're two on deck. old Cena Mania matches. <laughs> that right. is actually. <clears throat> Let's see. Let me see here. Did that. You already switched that, so I can't really do that. Um, for this tag match, the the uh, American Alpha and Cesaro and Rez, you fucking asshole. What? He's just asking him. Making it better. Let him do his thing. Let him do his I know. thing. No. Let him and, do his and, thing. and I'm doing my thing by cursing anyone who touches one match. Yep, yep, I changed like my own damn match. match. Like <laughs> so I want to add another tag team to that. Okay. okay. I want to add Trent, Sa- Trent Seven and Tyler Bate. Ooh. Nice. AKA. Mustache Mountain. Is that really their name? It was referred oh, to about, in commentary. <laughs> well, they nicknamed Trent That's, Seven. Was, yeah, they said he mustache came mustache from mountain. Mustache Mountain or something along those lines. Yeah. Yeah. Garza is going to have to hate to find images of them. That should be all right. <laughs> no, I should be, be fun. That shouldn't be that bad. No, I, didn't, I, didn't say, I didn't say anything about a suit, yeah. did I? No, 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 suit. no, 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 no. But plenty of mustaches. Anyway. Gold dust in this. No, no, no. You don't have to do that. <laughs> so, um, who, what do you think? Here? I'm going to say you you idea. actually, didn't he do that last year? Didn't didn't we yeah. get gold dust in the suit one week? Yeah, so, gold, so, gold, gold dust has been in the suit. That worked out weird when Luke Harper got into a suit. Yeah, that was when Luke Harper in a suit, and somebody messed that up. This is this. I'm so confused right now. Who's uh who's Gotch? Gallagher has the mustache, right? Simon, hold on, let me pull up a picture. Yeah, yeah Gallagher. Simon Gotch is uh, Simon. one half of the VOD villains, if you're hold familiar. On, hold on. There you go. There you Old go. Old timey guy. Look yeah, at I, I thought they were great in NXT, and then they pulled in Ascension when they came to the main roster. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of they Simon were, Gotch. Okay, were okay so let's do this. Uh, let's let's say this. And we can substitute somebody, right? Like, right. just yeah. kick them off the car because they shouldn't be there. So you're going right. to kick off Gotch? Is that what you're saying? No, no, I don't have a problem with Gotch or Gallagher. Okay. Gallagher. I think Vince McMahon is going to wake up because it's feeding time. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to bring in somebody and, to kill these two tiny men? And he's going to tell Nakamura. No, he's going to tell Samoa Joe to get out because uh-huh. it's going to be Ooh. Kurt Angle oh. versus Ryback. Ooh. I can get it. That actually might be a good match. I, I actually would not hate that. I would not hate that at all. Samoa Joe. Bleh. Battle of the go. singlets. I, I, think, I think we need Kurt in a match with someone who can't kill him. 
And that is a. Well, that's not Ryback. <laughs> make sure that is a. Ma- that, is not Ryback a is <laughs> that is a match brought to you now by Dangerous Dan Hooven. <clears throat> brought to you by Hooven Ground. Six. By Hooven Ground. I like how it's Hooven Ground Six. <laughs> yes. Kurt Angle, <laughs> like the authors of Pain. <laughs> I I like the author of Pain. You're trying to remind me of D'Lo Brown. <laughs> I get it. I see it. The outfits. They're like they're like, they're, they're like his dad. Yeah. <laughs> my two dads. That's, 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 my that, two dads. that's a sitcom I want to like, see. I have two sons and a chest protector. Remember, during the Attitude Era, the chest protector was used for comedy. Today, yes. it's used for your future main eventer. Big guy. Yes. <laughs> big dog. Big right. guy. The big guy. Not the big guy. The big dog. So, Matt, the big guy. Right. what do we have after round two of Mayhem Mania? All right. It's looking good. Um, all right. Here's the... Um, oh, first, let me tell you the matches. Two matches that didn't get messed with in any way. Um, Jack Gallagher versus Simon Gotch and Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens. I, th- I, I remember I was talking to somebody like a year ago, and I said, you know, because I wasn't a big fan of Owens, so I saw him live. I didn't get the hype. Mm-hmm. I said, you know, if they do it right, Kevin Owens could be the guy that somehow takes out Brock Lesnar. Mm-hmm. Because as mm-hmm. physically, when you look at him, you shouldn't believe he could beat up anybody. I think Owens, I could suspend this belief of size muscles I own to find a way to, to fight him. Well, think about, think I about, think if he was like in that mode, like he was in those first couple of matches with Cena, where he was just right. like emptying the playbook and doing right. everything, yeah. Right. then yeah, you could buy that. Well, cause. well, think about like, maybe not so now, everybody kind of looks the same as far as UFC goes, but there were a lot of like big husky guys that were just badass tank Abbott. tank Abbott guys, right? <laughs> he could be, he could be a tank Abbott, you know, he's the prize fighter. He, he really kind of goes for that already, I think. Mm-hmm. So. But anyways, all right, and uh, here are the six matches that um, got a little tweaked. Here's what we have now. Uh, Three-way tag match, American Alpha versus the Kings of Wrestling versus uh, Trent Seven and Tyler Bate. We're going to have Kurt Angle versus Ryback, the returning (laughs) Ryback. We're going to have AJ Styles versus Finn Balor, finally getting the payoff for the uh, Bullet Club breakup. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And we're going to get Shinsuke Nakamura versus Hideo Itami. We're gonna get. Why is it gotta be racist like that, man? What? I, I, that's just the way it <laughs> worked know, out. That was my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> Had to put him somewhere, I guess. Um, that would we're be gonna a kick-ass have... match, though. We're gonna have the Miz and Maurice versus John Cena and Nikki Bella versus Rusev and Lana. Handsome Rusev. Handsome Rusev. Handsome Rusev. I can scribble that in. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Bray Wyatt versus Gold Dust in a battle of generations. Less weird Gold Dust. Less less weird, more serious Gold Dust. Not not singing with our truth, gold dust. So there you go. There you go. Good the job, everybody. Mania. We'll be back next week. We'll have another five people. We'll make some more changes. And uh, I should point out, we're trying to see if we can get some of these uh, matches to survive three rounds without being uh, tarnished. And uh, I think gosh, and then we'll see if uh, the there. creator of that match will get a little mm-hmm. reward, and then the punishment will start getting handed yeah. out, and then it'll get a little. Missy, I think then. I think Gosh and Gallagher is going to get to the end of it because everybody's moving around the big pieces. But I'm just like, ah, you That's know, right. like Gosh and Gallagher did her see, thing. Now you've, you've killed the strategy. Yeah. People are, are going to gun for that match. Really we'll see radar. next week. Next week, uh, uh, Bert Legrand joins us, so he'll have his input in Why on. Why does that name sound so familiar? He's a announcer. Well, he used to actually he used to announce an IWC, I guess, way back in the oh, day. Oh yeah, he's a uh, fancy chachi. Yes, he's the no, stretchy. Yeah, Chachi, yeah, fancy, fancy Chachi. Chachi. He does yeah. the RWA recap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's yeah, what yeah. I sound. He has a good voice. I like yeah. him. Oh yeah, yeah. Good he, stuff. Fancy Chachi. That's right. Uh, he's been a great one for you on the show, and he'll be joining us in studio next week. And then a few other IWC guys might be uh, lining up here. Uh, we're getting confirmed. So you gotta get Santana Diamonds and he Kingpin is, on here. If it works, Santana Diamonds may already be booked for oh. like two weeks from now. Now at least he's booked so. somewhere. Now and then, uh, and then we also aw. Then he. Then we also have to uh, plan our Valentine's Day episode. So, will you be at Royal Valley for Proving Grounds? I believe I will be at Royal Valley for Proving Grounds. Yes. So, if anyone who is not working RWA for me wants a road trip to Royal Valley, please let me know. Um, from Pittsburgh here, so uh, that is out there for you guys. Um, all right. So, on that point, I have turned Missy's clicky up. We'll turn that down. Sorry, that's me. I was like clicky where. Um, but anyways. <laughs> Uh, real quick, what did you guys learn from wrestling this week? Anything can happen. <laughs> you learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> also, make sure you have insurance on your equipment around wrestling shows. Yes. Yes. Uh, Matt? Uh, I learned life finds a way. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> we have dinosaurs again. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> Matt! 
Brilliant. Good, Matt. Brilliant. That is, that is, side, that's actually the line of the night. Side side ad, and somebody reiterated this to, to me earlier. Um, I learned that the T Rex was learned was uh, trained by Vern Gagne. <laughs> Oh, I mean, <laughs> God, if you <laughs> haven't seen this video, go to amazing. go to IWC's Facebook or their YouTube page, uh, IWC Wrestling, and uh, it's 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 fantastic. Watch this T-Rex. I kind of want Life Finds a Way to be his finisher. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo, Dino DNA. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. The, di- the T-Rex needs a valet just called Clever Girl. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I know that was a raptor, but still, I think it works. I I think someone cosplaying as uh, Doctor Hammond would be maybe a step above it. <laughs> Manager, <laughs> and we're getting pulled oh, off of YouTube. Out. We're getting what? pulled what? off of YouTube. No, 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 no! It's fair use. It's fair use. I swear. <laughs> I can do that. Is Oliver is still okay. alive? Beard on and a white suit. Use him, uh, Bobby. What'd you learn? That's not dinosaur related. <laughs> I learned. I learned two quick things. Um, I learned that Rusev loves the movie Space Jam. He tweeted that today, that it was on Cartoon Network. <laughs> and he said, Space Jam, Like we nice. need another reason to love this man. <laughs> I want to hang out with Rusev. Bobby, Bobby this is my life Bobby, goal now. Bobby, it's handsome Rusev. Yeah, handsome Rusev. Just um, so sitting also, on the couch being handsome watching Space Jam. What's up? And I, I imagine also, him I like screaming into the other room. He's like, Lana, Lana, Space Jam's on. Come here, Lana, come here. Lana Bunny is on. <laughs> Look at my here. legs, Lana. They're watching Space Jam. <laughs> oh my God, Rusev is the Tasmanian devil. I also learned. <laughs> I also learned that it's possible to have. Ten men and an eight-man tag, thanks to Titus O'Neil. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was halfway right with that prediction. You were. You were. I was halfway right. He's like, we're going to have an eight-man I, tag, and then two other or one, two other people are going to join us. <laughs> it's like, okay, Titus. Oh, Titus. I think, um, Titus. I think Titus read my tweet and got confused. <laughs> maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Riz, what would you learn? That it's impossible to start Mojo Raleigh at number one and finish the Royal Rumble. Oh, no. Hey, Riz. Im- Riz. Impossible. Life imitates art that will happen on Sunday. It's going to happen in real it's life. It probably will be, too. I, I got to say. <laughs> Mojo's going to be number right. one, and Riz is going to lose his mind. <laughs> oh, I, I can't wait. Oh, uh, Riz, I hope you're wearing your, like, 5X uh, Mojo Raleigh shirt on, on Sunday. Oh, sure. yeah, Mojo buddy. got attacked by a tanning booth tonight, too. <laughs> If you watch <laughs> <Smackdown>. <laughs> oh, amazing. Missy, did you learn anything in wrestling this week? I did. Mm-hmm. Um, I learned that everybody's favorite uh, good girl has a tattoo. Who? Bailey. Yeah, Bailey has an oh. eye of Horus tattoo yeah. on her upper back. Is that new? No, yeah. that's been there for a while. Has it been there I've for just a while? never noticed it. Yeah. I was watching Wait, who? It. Bailey. Bailey. Oh, Billy has like a back of the neck tattoo. Yeah, never so. noticed it. All the cool kids do. Yeah. Well, and that's just it. Like I, I figured, you know, Bailey's the girl next door. Little, you know, good girl. She has Does a her tattoo. mom know? Uh, wheels. <laughs> Does her mom? Know? <laughs> <laughs> Does now? Oh my god! Wheels. Oh, no wheels oh. learn that Nacho Mania is running wild. I have a fun gif of uh, Zuboff getting uh. uh nachoed as well so all right guys but uh, sorg what do i get to say what i learned i thought oh yeah sure yes disembodied voice of mad money yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> seriously sorg, just because i just because you can't switch to me doesn't mean i can't learn That's shit all right. Wait, we can't see you we can't see you yeah exactly and what i do. learned what I learned is john cena really needs to lose this week because otherwise <laughs> Otherwise, hey, AJ's he's got career. he's got the Kids Choice Award. He's doing okay. Exactly, and he's gonna. Yeah, yeah. Between that and he, lifting Al Roker. <laughs> so. Besides, besides John Cena, do you really want to win your 16th title at a Royal Rumble or at a WrestleMania? Let's yeah. be really fair about this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's still in front of forty thousand people. And, and and let's be real here. That Al Roker, Al Roker was skinny. Yeah. yeah, if this was Al Roker, was from Al Roker back in the day, there's no way. I love that. that we're like we're shitting on the 
Our oh, Rooker ain't nothing. <laughs> just, just lifting a human I'm, being. I, I'm heavier than Al Roker at this point. Let's have John hey, well, Cena lift me. All right, guy. come on. Tiny you, guy. You probably Tiny could. Guys, Bring it, Cena. Guys, thank you so <laughs> I much. I've seen his videos. Wrestling, he probably man. could lift you. Lift oh, us I'm sure room. he could, with with They're no doubt in my mind. Mayhem mayhem. Wrestling mayhem show. Sword, thank what did you, you so learn much. this week? I learned that whatever I said before. You didn't I, say. I, I learned that. I hope somebody. I I, I learned that somebody's not going to deposit back on a T Rex uh, costume, because um, <laughs> oh, there has got to be a blowout on that thing. So, um, guys, Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you so much for joining us. Hit us up. Please email us. Good times. Good times. At WrestlingMayhemShow dot com four one two two zero six WMS zero. We play your voicemails on the air. Usually. Call us when you're drunk. Oh yes, actually, yeah. It can it can double as a drunk hotline. Put it in your phone, and then you can just have to say, "Call Wrestling Mayhem no. Show." Sork, Sork, Sork. Listener challenge. Call us with your immediate reaction to the winner of the Royal Rumble. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I do like yeah. that. I yeah. do like that. Put it in your phone. Four one two two zero six WMS zero. Can we? We need to. We need to schedule a tweet there or something for for Sunday night as well to get it out to people. Uh, call us. Let us know, and we'll play reactions on the show. I hopefully get a few of them. Uh, or mayhem call us and all pretend you guys. it's Emelina's hotline. What's that? Four one two four one two four one two two zero six WMS zero. Charges may apply. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much, Dan Hooven. Good luck. At Hooven Ground. Suck it. There you go. Good luck in your training with Big League John McChesney. Um, he's going to stretch. Oh, you're away from the – you walked away from the mic. Uh, he's he's going to – I'm I'm very excited. He's going to stretch me, though. It's, it's it's I'm scared. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just terrified about everything, actually. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. How hard can it be? It's just pro wrestling. <laughs> Little uh, League Dan Hooven. Looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> uh, Matt Carl is at Mainstream Matt on the Twitters. Always a pleasure. The uh, proprietor of the Mayhem Mania. This embodied voice of Mad Mike 4883. Look where I join him uh, later this week on the Midweek War. We'll probably talk more at length on uh, TakeOver Preview, and uh, hopefully we can get a couple more of the Mayhemers on that to maybe talk about that in, in depth. Yeah, if you want to send in your predictions for TakeOver, send them to goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. That's right. That's right. Billy absolutely. All the way. Or even uh, hit us on the Twitter, and we'll uh, put Billy that in the queue K as well. All the way. So, Billy K all the way. <laughs> Hashtag Billy K all the way. <laughs> all the way. Matt, we're a tag team. we got to stick together. At Bobby F. J. Town. I promise I will clean my room this week. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Like, I saw the cat <laughs> hanging out over there. So, oh, there he is. There he goes. There he goes. It's okay. Wick, Wicket's rolling around too. Now, 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 Wicket's really confused. Um, oh no, he's <laughs> all right. He's all right over there. Um, and of course, the Riz. Riz plays games. Check out his Royal Rumble challenges. Riz plays mm-hmm. games YouTube channel. Yes. I don't really have anything to do. I'm probably gonna do another one. There you go. There you go. Go check it. Go check it. Uh, and of course, check out if you're in the area, we're doing a studio wrestling mixer. If you have uh, old memories or memorabilia or anything like that, some people have been hitting us up uh, about studio wrestling, Pittsburgh studio wrestling, Bruno, the Batman with two T's, things like that. Please join us at Work Hard Pittsburgh at uh, 6 p.m. on Thursday. Information, check out the events over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show and the Sorgatron Media Facebook pages. We have all that up there. Um, we will have a great talk with uh, Bucky Palermo when he was talking at the, uh, the Lawrenceville Historic Society, talking about the days of working with Bruno as a referee. He's also shoemaker to and the stars. Bears. And bears. His dealings with, with bears... Um, and George Steele, basically, I would say throwing him on the bus, but more throwing him under a bear. Uh, you can yes. find out more. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have those on CD in classic old-timey style <laughs> on CD <laughs> for you guys. Hanging those out here this Thursday. I don't know. Last time we had um, 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 baked goods in the shape of wrestling bears. So that was really that was really worked really well. So um, it, we'll, we'll have some goodies there for that as well. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Check us out, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe all the places. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.